outside on the entrance by the foyer on your left hand side. That's where you look at toilets and or restrooms. Cell phones. Can you please uh, put your cell phones on silent so that we won't disturb uh, the, 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 the sermon as we are about to start? Can you please avoid movement once we begin so that it won't disturb our videos and uh, the presentation while uh, our sermon is going on? Our contact numbers will be on the screen. If you need something, you can just contact us or myself. You can talk to me. I can assist you with anything that you need. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. You can just like our page because if you send a friend request, uh, there are limits. So just like our page. It is Ron Mas. And if you need to talk to Mr. Masila directly after this sermon, you can just call his numbers. It is 071-743-2468. Six eight. I will repeat the number zero seven one six seven four three two six two four six eight zero seven one seven four three two four six eight. That's Mr. Ronnie Masilela's number. If you can't get hold of him, you can call myself on zero seven nine triple nine seven zero four five zero seven nine triple nine seven zero. Four five. You are all welcome. Fasten your seatbelt as you are about to start. Be proud of yourself because uh, we always say, action it. And yes, indeed, you did action it by being here this morning. Can we all give yourself a round of applause for being here this morning? As we are about to begin, I would like everyone to enjoy this seminar and learn something and get something from it. Thank you very much. A round of applause for Babeti Ongosi, please. Um, to all the leaders in business, traditional leaders, religious leaders, leaders in politics, the legislature, judiciary, and community, all speakers and presenters present here, our sponsors and our partners, distinguished guests, uh, colleagues and co-workers, members of the media who are here, great businessmen and women from the beautiful province of the rising sun, Mpumalanga, and from South Africa. We are also informed that we have people from outside of this country who will attend or who are already here. Ladies and gentlemen, and visit Bavam Sabati, boys and girls. Good morning, San Bonan. Ninjani. Nkalasi Pile Gangane. My name is Ronima Silela, Ron Mas, and we are here to make it happen. It is time to start with the session for today. This is the second annual Mpumalanga business and investors seminar. We will waste no time because we have a lot to deal with. Others who will join us will join us in Jobet Sine Sat Kubega. Is it right? No, it's wrong. Is it right? Is it wrong? No, it's wrong. Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it right? Is it right? Is it right? G7 Theatre Production, you are here. Is it right? Is it right? Is it right? You know what? Uh, before any Further waste of time, I request us to stand on our feet. So you will national anthem at all. Tango ba, sinibang labas <laughs> lugasugay. Neng kalagut si mga tinya otse te tu songe. Bese se si the mails labat fu neng kalabak kipeti kogo. My cell phone e tu neng kalagut si swafaga gu silent. There must be no movement during the time yog kalagut national anthem. Go be quiet, go be straight. And sing a fact so. Dance, ne? Go from sack faga president na Ron Mas. Dance so. So, tina si menje straight. Ngisho no me unga lunyo imbuzlua ni yegele. Go pele le national anthem. Thank you very much.
Batos dale sala yo na se na se sala ke leke. Thank you very much. Our session is uh, declared open, and we continue with our program. Nipili le maravagit na, nivela api. Lomu ilo velenza wenle itanza kakulun kela pamse sandla simbone kutu vela gup. U vela gup mam. Lama 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 micro lama microphone vela kasala sonse laban bato. Stood cocktail and general band during the course of the of the session. Uvela good mark. Do we have people from Hersibande? Hersibande, you are here. Nigupi Hersibande, Hersibande, you are here. That's brilliant. Do we have people from Nkangala? Kangala, you are here. Do we have people from Etanzeni? Do we have people from Houteng? Houteng, can we sing a tantra? Do we have people from Houteng? Houteng, you are here. Do we have people from any other province? By the show of hands? Not yet here. Outside of this country? All right, uh, colleagues and, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, what will happen? We'll continue with the program. Some of the people, as you can see, will join us as we continue. G7, are you ready? You are ready. Let's, let's, let's give these great guys this platform just to set the tone. La Baba and La Baba, La Pepinari. Bastrong banda i theater banda i drama, but seven things I want to look at together. Events la maning both for government and private sector. So we are introducing them now to the stage. They have something to play for us. Please ascend the stage. Thank you. I'm going to be a shem. 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 I'm going to be 
this education is acquired, like this is the same. Rule number four, there are principles to follow. Rule number five, winners never quit, and quitters never retreat. The G7 Theatre Production. Ba practice swang im lava. Eh, babe, unkala u bani get number ten. San Bunan. Uh, my name is Tumisane Christopher Gondrova Maslela from the G7 Theatre Production. Uh, what we're doing is in the theatre from your industrial theatre, industrial theatre, and play la la entertainment. But while Banduba are educated, Baba entertained. We also do ma physical theatre, street theatres from a march, na la mani la So the number is um, 071 354. 1146. Thank you. Uh, please repeat it. 071 354 1146. Yes, Right. What will happen um, later on today? You'll be given an opportunity to pitch your business idea or your business to a panel of judges today for funding or non uh, for Thirty or ninety seconds. In the we beg. I go to Nenda. Nin Funa Ini. Nin Funa Nenda Laboban. Preparing today. By the time says poo. That will happen just after lunch. Ne? Program to Yakichi Magakulu. The divine technician. How are you, sir? It is time for you. Um, but just before he comes here, as you prepare to come forward, Sifuna uh, Gushoguti, you did the right thing. You have taken it is in Legate, Mogutu Utela. Utot Bonella now will come back to be ready for more. Nkala Gutsi Samgele on stage, the divine technician. Nkala Nim Lalele Lapa. Thank you. Prominent for his mind, transformational talk, and pastoring, Divine Garage International, Pastor Lenik Nguenyama, also known as the Divine Technician, has the plan for helping by empowering through his talks and one-on-one -on -one sessions. I am a speaker. The Divine Technician deals mostly with human behavior and emotional intelligence, mind reprogramming. He speaks on various platforms, including radio and events. To speak to us about the power of association, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Mr. Lenik Nguenyama, the divine technician, prominent for... Greetings, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and also special greetings to Ronmas Media and all the other stakeholders. 
I'm here to talk about the power of association. It is true that the Bible says that bad company corrupts your good character. Then if you can also look at it, it means that good company will correct your bad character. Things are created twice in this life. First of all, things are created in your mind as thoughts and as ideas. And after that, then they are created in the physical. So everything that we see basically, it started in the mind, then from there, it came in the physical. So if there is an association or a group that you normally spend time with, what happens is they influence you. The word influence, it comes from a Latin word that says fluence. Basically, it means to flow. So influence, it means to flow in. So when you spend time with a group of people or you have a certain association, they pour themselves into you. Everything that they do and everything that they say, it gets into your mind. And when it comes into your minds, it then changes the way you think. Then you start having new ideas and uh, also new thoughts, which come as a result of what comes from your association. And now because you are thinking differently, the way you do things, it will start to be different also. So the Bible says, as the man thinketh, so is he. Basically, your association will make you, or your association will create you. Let me also speak about some few benefits that you get when you are in an association. One of the things that I learned yesterday is that most of the people, we are more concerned about how can I get this done? How can I get funding? How can I get connections? But the most important question that you should ask is, is that, who can get me funding? Who can get me connected? Who can get me there? And you can only get such things when you are associated with the right people. And number two, I remember the other time I went to traffic department to renew my driver's license. And when I got there, the, 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 the queue was very long. And now I found another friend of mine telling him that it seems like I will spend the whole day here. He said, don't worry, let me call my guy. And after he called this guy, Within a few minutes, somebody came to take me from reception. I passed all the queue. They did my fingerprints. They did my eye test and everything. Before I knew it, I was out of traffic department. How did that happen? I did not have to pay any bribe, but association is what got me to that level. So it is very much important to make sure that we've got right and good association. The Ronian, the Ronmas Media this year started a program called Business um, Incubator Program. What happens in that program basically is that entrepreneurs come together and other people which are more experienced to help mentor the ones that are starting up. I want to show you how association can help you. So what happens is that the experience of the ones that are successful becomes your experience because they teach you you don't have to go through difficulties. But by mere listening to them, then your mind changes and you get an experience that you did not even work for. So when you hear about things like this, make sure that you jump because association will create you and it can determine where you go. As I'm closing, don't be a kind of a person losing in because that maybe Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for the divine technician. Hey, my daughter, I think to my surprises, man. I'm seeing people who are coming from far, and uh, they did not tell me because they are coming. Saying about Angela, no, I, I truly value their, their support and their assistance. Right, the power of association. Thank you so much, uh, Divine Technician. Um, program here too. You know what? Labanye Bandu, Njobe Skuluma are guilty because of association. Labanye Bandu are up somewhere because of association. It is important. There's never a time where two people meet and nothing happens. It is either you are equipped or you are trained. So you must check thoroughly what you get or what you give. Uh, let's, let's now go to a small video clip that gives a, a background of the annual Mpumalanga Business and Investor Seminar. Um, today marks the second annual Mpumalanga Business and Investor Seminar. And please hear, where did it start? What are the objectives, etc.? Please enjoy.
The annual Bumalanga Business and Investors Seminar brought by Ronmas Media comes as a solution for business-minded individuals in both rural and urban areas. It is a platform where business owners, investors, funders, and potential customers come together for access to finance, access to markets, business opportunities, and best practices. In 2018, the first seminar drew people from all three districts in Bumalanga, Gauteng, KZN, and Limpopo. There are exciting stories of people who after attending the seminar got funding increased sales volumes this demands commitment consistency and continuous learning on the part of the business owner this year is bigger and more impactful with people pitching their business ideas and businesses to a panel of judges for financial and non-financial support and yes you have come to the right place for business-minded persons like yourself this is made possible by our sponsors and participants which are sida nyda fnb secafin ngobe media Milvi Force, AFM Community Church, Mega, NEF, Slulumanzi, Nomanini Guest Lodge, Voice of Hope FM, Radio Pushback Ridge, K Radio, BCR FM, Rise FM, and Rising Sun TV. Enjoy. Okay. Munga no amlo kulma la pang. Kya ni mshale tanti. La pa. Hey son, say sugin. Last year la pa. Bes la pa e Samwe. Bes la pa e Samwe. Nabo someone, send us something. Best be somewhere. In other words, in life, best be somewhere. So that's exactly what happened there. So some of the people who attended La Pana uh, won things, got things. Lomunyenje. Ugo pimage manyat. Nkalakbana sadla sa koko anala. Mage nyakbona. Nyakbona mage. Uti fitil. Shem, yad kusi last year. Gwende gaso. Isida, if you can machine, walk to Nan and Palsil and Afaga, Banigan numbers, ne? When you came in. That's what will happen again today. So now, what happened, Guti, as people were, were moving in, they wrote their names and numbers and they dropped them there. So, Master Sandal Leraful, Sapical Gama, and that name, Bella Tumsane, a son to Mage. Sorry, ma. Magenya. How's your age? Mfage, mage, mfage, magu to me, the pen. Magenya tabe. How's your age? Magenya tabe. So, let's check how we're going to machine of two last year. Nkala, the microphone, biela kona la pati. Nkala, u, nkoni pama, u menget nyao. U wina lo machine lo mfana, si ambuta la pati, tuto wenda lo machine, ngobe, kishe ngata, sika vamanga kbona, Seen as two at over so. But no, Magua Mutanda Zelem Sheen for many years. Magua Kenanya. Okay, Magan Kalagu Buta. Machine who call a guy? Abu Korn. Guhamba Jan. Guhamba Rasim Sheen. Nalo Lengu Gogi Leng Tunga Olum Sheen. Hey, my daughter. Nyalo Pizu Tungela Banlabanjan so. Lomulum Salan Calabia Pambi Nelton to Taka, my daughter. In Tanim Bambi, say Nanga Bambilu, Tanim Bambi, Sabia Nelton to Taka. Yabana Akfunegi School Macpel, Akfunaku Gupe Cape Action, Kumbe my results. Because we can spend the whole day schooluma. Agabella, if you do the Kulitom born. Hm. Ningam Fara Penela Pogo Facebook. Ningam Fara go Instagram. Bugel, Mark. Muello. Mandakola. Eh. Nkalutela ban go twenda and mag. Naba funa in bete gue. Oh lang tungela scolo. Oh, don't get us a scolo in. Okay. Se na la banye baye tanje balete tin long ba tunge. Eh. Mutungela ban la banjan, tunga tin le tinjan. No mang lung jan, yatu. No mang lung jan. No ma in yatu. Joe, I'm Kipella, Nang push up to Ninguayama, little duck. No, my in ya too. Ha! Siabonga cool, Nang, when you're born. Nambonamus. No, congratulations, Maga Sagbong is a cool. Siabong. Is it a second? 
Ah, ungo siya. Mteli, mteli ka wrong side. Pasi ba right? Aba na pride. Aba funu kuti kukumet. Aba tufage. But keep him up posing. Aba funu ngene ma posing. Lo machine matoto wa 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 boya straight gasita. But no, it's funa go power go go kinis abandu be ma business. Thank you very much, Sida. We appreciate you even today for the great work Lenny and Dil. Right, Sisi uh, Apambil Manje, Sikalagbita to the stage, the CEO of Milvi Force, Mr. Pisoposa, Abiyato Kulumanats. Thank you so much. Tani Mlale. A 28-old Tepiso Lerato Posa founded Milvi Force Wholesale and Petroleum Company seven years ago. She believes in being the difference that she wants to see in her community, industry, and country. She is the first woman in history to be appointed on the Mpumalanga Pakisa Rugby, where she oversees the marketing, public relations, and CSI of the rugby team. Miss Posa is giving back to two orphanages, feeding and uplifting 426 children. She won the 2018 Humanitarian Award at the Sunrise Women Awards. She is the host of the Leadership 2020, partnered with DJ Sbu for the whole Mpumalanga province, bringing leaders from all around South Africa, including international leaders such as Timothy Morris Webster, to Mpumalanga to guide people to grow spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Most important, to increase their network, to increase their net worth. Her latest achievement this year was to open her own publishing house and is the co-author of Fueling Futures, written alongside with her colleague, brains and brain neuroscientist, Mr. Timothy Morris Webster. The book was launched five months ago, is already in more than 20 bookstores nationally and has been trending in various provinces. Amazon and has signed with SABC for a TV show in March 2020 to help share other people's stories nationally and internationally game changer and hard-working young woman she is here to speak about fueling futures ladies and gentlemen welcome Tepiso Lerato Posa good morning San Bonani before I start I'd like to say thank you to Ronnie for the opportunity and for partnering with us as collaboration with Ronnie. We've been working together for some time because I believe in collaboration. I've only got 10 minutes, unfortunately. So I'm going to just speak to you about fueling futures. Why fueling futures? People told me that I am selling petrol. What does a book have to do with my industry? I told them that when I lost my voice in China last year out of being in an abusive relationship because I was too busy focusing on my work, I realized I almost lost myself. And because I almost lost myself, it means that I was going to lose my business eventually. Petrol is not just a product that we're going to be selling to you because we are trying to make money. I felt like we need to start selling products that are trying to develop people. As a youth, we all know that we're having challenges in terms of abuse, but fueling futures is different. I was traveling... And I got back, I lost my voice, and I didn't know what to do with my business. I didn't want to see my business. Then I realized, if I'm broken, my business is nothing. I need new fuel. What is fuel for me? Fuel means that I need to fight harder. Fuel means that I need to understand what I want to achieve in my life, in my businesses, in my social spaces. I need to understand why I'm sitting in certain rooms, why am I attending certain conferences. I need to e eliminate the nonsense. I need to eliminate the wrong friends, the wrong partners. I need to eliminate the wrong business partners in terms of how do you do that? You need to be able to identify them, but how do you do that without being guided? So Fueling Futures guides you to understand how you elim eliminate the nonsense and L, how you lead and level up. So how many people in this room are running on empty? Are you here today and you're running on empty? When I say running on empty, I I'm referring to your heart. Imagine your heart being a fuel tank. You need to refill constantly the way you need to refill your car, but you can't put a diesel in a petrol vehicle because if you put diesel in a petrol vehicle, you're going to stop. Your car is literally going to stop and you're going to need assistance and you're going to need to know where are you going to get assistance. How are you going to get assistance is through Fueling Futures. Fueling Futures, I share and my collaborations, I share my business ideas and um, 
I share how to overcome pain. It's more about transforming your pains into power. How do you transform your pains into power? I lost my voice. I couldn't speak for two months, even if I work on radio and I do a lot of talks and I have other businesses that way, which require me to help youth and talk to them. I couldn't talk. So I realized I'm going to start something new. I'm going to write a book. If I can't talk, I'm going to write a book. If I can't walk, I'm going to crawl. That's the attitude that we should have as individuals, regardless of the age. So from my side, I want to just share the chapters from you because I've got 10 minutes. Okay, so chapter one is discovering her fuel. Chapter two, running on empty. Chapter three, filling your fuel tank. Like I said, imagine your heart being the, 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 the actual tank. If you put in the wrong, um, di if you put diesel in a petrol vehicle, you're going to stop. But if you stop, how do we guide you? How, how do we teach you to get over it? Sometimes it sounds harsh to say, get over it. No, you need to get over certain things. But how do you do it without experiencing that other people have gone through worse? You need to hear other people's stories. So at the end of each chapter, what we do is that we walk a journey with you. There's a fuel check moment. There's nine chapters in the book. My favorite chapters, I will tell you, self-love fuel, because I had to find new fuel um, within myself. And loving myself means that I need to be... A, honest with myself. In the book, we stipulate that people are always in denial. And denial is going to get you into a lot of trouble. I don't care how much money you have. If you don't know who you are and who you are transforming in becoming and you don't want to elevate, it's a problem. So me losing my voice, I realized I'm going to write. And now I said to myself, I'm going to take my pains and transform them into power. How's power? It's to say, I'm going to take my pains and make, make my pains make money for me. There's a lot of stories. Everyone here can write a story. I, I started my own publishing house this year, and I would actually like to at least do two books from Pumalanga, hopefully whoever is interested in sharing their story and letting their story make money for them. Like I'm standing here now, but someone's buying a book because of my story. I lost my voice, but because I decided to be creative and write, now I've got my own publishing house for the first time at the age of 28. It was not because of uh, being stupid. It was because people said to me, you will not make money from a book. I said, no, I won't, but opening a publishing house and sharing my story and being honest with people will make me money. Because in the world and society that we live in today, people are very, very fake. But Fueling Futures, I wrote with Timothy Maurice Webster because I wanted to position myself as an international brand. At 28, yes, I wanted to position myself as an international brand. It was difficult to work with him. He didn't even want to work with me for for the reason that he thought I was too young until he heard my story because I was willing to be open and vulnerable. Being open and vulnerable can pay you. And at the same time, what I'm trying to say is that it's important for you to fuel your future differently. I can't tell you the detail that is in this book, but today we're selling it for 180 Rand. It's usually 200. We are in more than 20 bookstores and we've only been six months opening the publishing house. And I would like for you to read this book and take it with you wherever you go because it will help you and teach you how to get mentors and be a good mentee, teach you how to collaborate and keep relationships like Ronnie and myself have been working in collaborations for years now. People don't know that, but we know that and we've got good, strong relationships because of the fact that we understand what it is to value partnerships. And um, lastly, I'd like to say that it's important for you to understand that fuel is not a joke. It is needed in your everyday life. It's not just business. It's not just your, um, your personal space. It's not just family space. It's your mental state. So you've got physical fuel. You've got emotional fuel. You've got mental fuel. You didn't know that, but you do today. And those of you that are interested in understanding and would like some training about it, please do um, go to our table there and write your name down so we can include you on our 2020 um, leadership program with DJ School. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Just before you sit down. Yeah, Tsepiso, thank you very much. Uh, the book is strong. Um, if, if she were to share the book, well, maybe a minimum of 30 minutes, but you would appreciate every second of her sharing about the book. Now, Maragne Bandu Gangan, but no, but Tsepiso, this is such as I've been so. Nguti, you have come to the years. Is it last week, two years? Two weeks ago? When? <laughs> Last week, Friday. Last week, Friday? Yeah. Happy belated. Thank you. Now, some people, but you know, Nguti Babuake, Babe Matthew Sposa, who strong, who go by premier, this and that. Gunjalo. Um, 
you know, I deal with it every day, and it's very funny because um, people think Putin Baba King Matthew Sposa. Yes, he is Matthew Sposa, but he's his own person. I have a hundred percent shareholding in all my companies, and I got funding from a company called um, uh, what's it, um, Parcel and Capital in Cape Town, and now they've changed the name to Echo Capital. I had to pay it back on a monthly basis, and my father said to me, because I want you to learn how to pay back the money so we don't have problems in future. That company, Milvi Force, that has been sponsoring a lot of charities, 426 children where we do feeding schemes, skills development, HIV awareness is 100% on my own. My father has nothing to do with it, but what he has to do with it is he made me wise enough to understand that my education and collaborating and respecting people and being humble will always get me one step ahead. Thank you very much. Bagetti, the prize of success is hard work, dedication at what you do, it determination whether you win or you lose, but to sell it up. What you will get at the end of the day is called success. But then after a while, uh, after doing a number of things, go figure scars, you know what? But you, you still fail after having tried a number of things. That's why you need a book like that one to fuel you. Energy, what is it that you need to do? Uh, they are the proud sponsor, one of the proud sponsors of this event, and we thank you so much for doing that. Same time. I let them see that episode one. Get on, let them go. The power of association. There's a lot that um, we are getting from each other, so that's why we are still together in that manner. So now on stage, I'd like to call a, a company which is called Secufin. It is based here in Nelspreit. They are one of our sponsors today. And uh, I've also known them for some years, uh, doing my financial things, financial advisory roles, role. Um, let me call on stage Ms. Jan Erasmus, the director of Secufin, to please talk to us and indicate what is it that they do. Thank you very much. Esantleni. today to you guys what Circofin stands for and where it comes from and where we are going with it. The first thing that comes up with Circofin, it's actually coming from circle. Circle have a beginning and then you close it down and then you keep it safe, which means it cannot be broken. And that's what business is all about. That's what Circofin is all about. It's circle of finance. Coming through, um, just on the back there presentation coming from is Sukifin has been a dream coming from all of us saying that we wanted to have that individual behind finance and that's the one thing that most people don't understand. Every single person sitting here does his finance differently. He has a dream, he has finance and the road between those two has to connect to become one, become that circle that keep the business, the dream, the personality that's behind it all together. Um, that's where full circle of finance is about. What we do from our side is we then went, looked, we got accounting involved, we got short term, which is your household, your business insurances, all that. Your long term, that's your investment specializations, your life covers, all of that involved there. We are also have a fiduciary side which actually look after trust and estates and wills and that sort of thing. Um, just a short hold there with wills, that's a very, one of my passions about it. Probably the most important document that you will ever do in your life. Um, the slides is on the show, I'd like you guys to read as well. But what I will do is I'm going to talk through it because I like to communicate directly. It's easier for me from that side as well. 
Um, the next one, we, that's what we said when we did circle. That's meaning of the whole. That means, for example, when you need finance, when you need to ability, you always have, as a business owner, has to come and sit down and you have to get all the different people together. You have to get the bank together. You have to get the profiles together. You have to get your accountant to do something. Then your financial planner. What we did through medical aid and through the corporate surrounding, you are the middle point. And everything has to be evolved around you because you are the one thing that's important. You are not a number. You are not a somebody that's only useful when you've got money. The right financial planning done in the right time will help you through the difficult times. And that's where a very important part of us is. That will be the different services that we offer. That's in a very short while. The outside will have a lot more brochure that will give you a lot more detail on what's going on there. Our executive summary when it comes to life cover, basically sitting down and sitting and reading and thought, how many times has somebody seen you and told you, listen, you need life cover or you need trauma or you need investment? What about your child? But whenever have you sat down and said, what do I need? I'm the asset to my family. I'm the asset to my business. So the I, even though it involved in teams, it's still the important factor because without you, your family cannot survive. Without you, your business cannot survive. So circling it around and making, taking care of you, the rest will fall in place. Because if you've done the right stuff at the right time, you will be helped. A lot of times, sitting down, deciding on what's good for your family, I think that's one of the hardest jobs that ever can be done. Sitting down, deciding what do I have to spend, where do I spend it, how do I keep everybody happy? Because even as a business person, even at, from a corporate side, from a, you have to keep people happy. It drains you. You need the fuel. So how do you get it together? How do you decide what's needed? You specialize as a person. For example, whether you're a contractor, whether you're a financial wizard, you are specialized. You need to, that talent that you were given by God needs to be developed. But now you spend time on all the different other things, trying to keep all the strings together. And that's mostly when the ball gets dropped on the, on the floor. And that's when people lose businesses, family that pass away, kids don't go to school, and education goes behind. On that note, something that needs to be, and something that very few people know is in our industry with the FBI, there's so many jobs available. But people don't know about it because this is not an advertised job. Everybody thinks it's a broker needs to be able to do a policy. And that's not what financial advice is about. Financial advice is bringing together your dreams, your hope, your circumstances, your individuality, and making your finances work for you. It doesn't help sitting down, for example, and deciding, all right, this child needs to go to school. How much do you need? How much does your dream for your child is going to cost you? Then at the end, when the child needs to go to school, your investment pays out, for example, you haven't looked at it for the last 10 years. Then you're surprised because you don't have enough. Because you didn't know in the beginning what you need to be able to get from A to Z. From a business perspective, taking all the money out of your cash flow, all of that sort of things, you need specialized background to be able to do all those things, to make sure you're successful, collaborating with one another, with different partners, making sure that everybody has a job in the end. Because that means if you get your talent and you build out, and you take what you cannot do and you give that job to somebody else, that person and their family also have a job. That means instead of earning 100 grand in your business, you can earn 100,000 because you're sharing between one another. You're helping one another. Training, education, dedication, and I think one of the most and the biggest thing that we do, we don't trust each other. 
you don't want to tell anybody else your dream because you're scared somebody might steal it. That's human. That's the nature of who we are. That's what we've seen. So what we need to do from us, we need to start building. We need to share and we need to trust. Um, all these will be outside. Actually, I don't want to go through everything. I think on a one-on-one -on -one basis outside the pamphlets, you would be able to read through. Actually going through to the last thing there. And that is so true. When you step outside, every single person will tell you how negative our economy is, how bad it is. Nobody can make it. There's no hope. There's no dream. We are being downgraded. Guys, go and look at the economical um, graph. It will always go up. And that's the one thing I want to say. Keep on dreaming. Your offices, where are they? 34 Van Rensburg Street, Nails Braid. Do you... Do you do what? <laughs> okay, your numbers. Okay. Cell phone, uh, our telephone number is 013-753-2277. Guys are welcome to phone at any stage, any questions you need, any environment. Like I say, the station outside as well. All the numbers and cards are readily available to all of you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, they, they have a stall outside and they, they have whispered to me to say they want to give um, free financial advice to three of you today. So you will get that. Emil Vefors, I have indicated, Gutsi, they also have a stall outside and they will give two books uh, by Tepiso Posa and Timo, Timothy Morris Webster, two books to two lucky attendees here today. Uh, so, you can see the program here. You can see the program here. You can see the program here. Fast. Right. You can see the program here. As a business coach, I have come across a number of people. I am not able to start a business because I have nothing. Because I am nothing. I'm coming from, I'm coming from a family that has nothing. Um, even a scholar, But here we want to confirm to you, that in the process. I want to call the next speaker. This bottle is it has has something inside. If we want to la mandila, maybe we begela. And I invite two people to come and tell me, Guti, Gu Menjan. Who can I? Any any two persons? Laba laba ngadala pambi. Let me first check something. Benkela no mengban. Any two. So please join me here. Makona Bandula, Wakalalo, Ale Kaulil Matota, no, nothing will nigger something. Go. Thank you, Pra. Sure. The Kamalako, when I'm from Kulmela, but Uto to Maraku. Mbal Kamalak. Tan, that's all as bong. Beaguba. And Koma Zimzint. Babe Umban Wagaban. Likaman San Sandim Bangs or Ganyamazan. Okay, no sabo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right, quickly. Babe Ubonanda, Gwendagalanda. Is it full or not full? It's full. It is full? Yes. Is it correct? Okay, please sit down. My hey, Baba, is this full or not full? Sorry? Not full. What is happening? Half what? Empty half? 
It's half? Half full. It's half full. Okay, thank you. You may sit. Those who Mr. said the uh, is incorrect, is where are they? Businessman. Moved to they are here, ne? Can I get one of you to tell me what is the status here? One of you. What is your view? Yes, ma'am. Tata is correct. He is saying it's half full. But I can also say it's half empty because you'll never know whether it will be drying out or filling up. But it's empty on its own. Who agrees with her? Can I see by show of hands? You agree? Nina Lenga agree in Nishunzin, Gasas. Eh? Madam? Can you microphone? Oh, um, I think it depends on your perception. So, I mean, my perception, I'm seeing that it's a positive perception. Okay. It is half full. Okay. Uh, I'm not worried about the emptiness, but I'm, lo I'm, I'm more concerned about the fuel. So, there is still something inside. So, it's half full. Yes. Good. You have to go to the The people who said this is half full are correct. Well, and pick us up and pick us up program director. And I'm boom. Okay, but you know, let's let's hear that view. I'm saying it's three quarter full. You'd say three quarter full. Three quarter full. Yes. <laughs> Give him the mic again. And now. Now it's half. It's what? Half. Half half what? Half full. Half full. Yes. How many are saying it's half full? Show of hands. Half full. Half full. Okay. Half empty. Labanya batingans. Okay, labati full. Labati full. Utin utin maki. It's half empty. Okay. Maki is saying it's half, half empty. So we have people here who are saying it's half empty. One, two, half full. And then there's a group that says it is full. We never never full. Now, no, Mr. Lofuna Kulu. Nina and Vamsa Kambal and Kulu Makona. Nyan Pena. Hello, everyone. My name is Lofu Andrine. I'm saying if you can't measure, you won't manage it. Ne? Uh, I'm saying it's not full because here it's written uh, 500 milliliter. Ne? Then if we can measure the water is inside, it's not 500 milliliter. So that is the reason why we are saying it's not full. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we can give it to him. Thank you. Let's, let's conclude it by saying the following. I can't give the peop some of the people who normally follow me on my Facebook. After lunch, my social media platforms, ne? for those who are on social media, to please like and follow me. And I will follow you back. Now, three answers that we got here. Some said it is half full. Some say um, pessimist. Pessimist. But not today, la. Ya bo ay la ba la ba la la ba la ba abata out was strong. But in a pan, they would say this is half empty. They are right. Optimists, la ba la ba positive. They would say it is half full. They are looking for solutions, positive things. They are also right. But there is the third version, which is hundred percent true, also. This bottle is full. The bottom part is filled with water. And the top part is filled with air. So it is full. Now, where you say there is nothing, there is something. That's the case with our lives. Where you say, I have nothing, I'm nothing. Take it from me as I give it to you. There is something that you can do with your hands, with your voice, with your, with your anything. I'm about to call the next speaker. So where there is nothing, there's still something. It depends on how 
you look at it. It depends on the people that you associate with so that those people can tell you, because you know what? You are sitting on money there. You are sitting on opportunities there, but you need to be informed correctly. A number of people have told me before, but Ron Mas, we are unable to start a business. And I asked them a question, you could see him king. Well, Ibamba go. But no, we do not have capital. That's okay. Nigolog, pay. But see, it's a serious matter. I don't have capital, so I'm unable to start a business. Those people are forgetting that there is something else which is called knowledge or intellectual capital. It's not financial capital. So a lot of you, let me give you an example and, and call this the next speaker. La banda ba peti knowledge capital, ba peti education, not necessarily schooling system. And now, le, le, let me say this to you. Please do not allow your schooling system to interfere with your, your education system. But, huh? Do not allow your schooling system to interfere with your education system. Ya banda ba la education system are the people who are using in knowledge and intellectual sometimes a uh, capital. For instance, if me nang funzile ng togotela ng gama qualifications ng PhD, ng pete schooling system sam sletulule, but ng hambe and go consult to a person, no na grade zero, not even grade one. This person does not have a grade twelve certificate, does not even have a birth certificate. Come, come, learn my certificates and degrees to consult what's Baba. Take off your jacket, Kalagasha. Take off your belt, Halagasha. Schooling system is high, education system is low. So, schooling system bows to education system. My point here is that there is something that you can do where you are. Fortunately, we have funding institutions here, but you must never wait for funding. Funding must find you along the way. You must start and be seen doing something and let people appreciate you and join you. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to welcome on stage Mr. Sandy Lengobe Nyamati to me Kulu. Mr. Sandy Nyamati ne? Babengo we basi bagwa zikake ba kulmi sizulu. Yaba na mine na mizulu nge saas. Pati ngis fiti le guti nzo seven zi sizulu. Marangen kela soko nzeka ngayo. Baba bati baya gwa zila bantu. Thank you. Mr. Sandy Lewandi Lengobe, a Swazi born businessman, moved to Mpumalanga in 2007 with grade 12 as his qualification. He worked and stayed in Bishop Donengonyama studio for two years without experience, no skills, and all funding. He started a business through outsourcing and positioned himself as a printer and videographer of note. He then registered a company called Ngobe media and technology to be able to also service various public and private sector clients. Passion and vision carried Ngobe along since then to this day where he runs a successful printing and branding firm with its headquarters in Nurse Parade and branches in Whitbank and Johannesburg. As a person who continuously observes what is happening around, Mr. Ngobe identified a gap to recognize gospel music artists in the Mpumalanga province and to close the identified gap. He then founded Mpumalanga Gospel Music Awards, Mkoma, in 2014. The Mkoma is now among the biggest gospel awards not only in Mpumalanga but South Africa as a whole. For the first time in the history of Mpumalanga gospel music, the 6th Mkoma Awards will be aired live on One Gospel on the 8th of December. To speak about how to start from nothing, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Sandile Ngobe. Thank, thank you so much. For me, it's a bit difficult. Kukuluma, I see my brother, my mentor, Udonza. Mkalasim Shaili Tandla is the one who contributed to my life. I see many of my clients. Ngabanjwa um, In 2010, in 2010, Mkala e-business, number one, capital. Number two, being an experience of the business that I'm doing. Um, nothing. Living now, long I cabang a good it was right for a business startup. 
So, because the business that I'm getting in, it's a business that needs a lot of investment. But this thing, I love it. So, what is it that I can do? Then, I decided to go for outsourcing. So, it was difficult for me uh, to start a printing business and as for the Gunabo Chet line, the moment it men, song as Yabat, then Basha, I born about Romans, my customer, Basha Kona Konala, with the outsourcing. So, Lengfuna Guk Raisa Lana Guti, it is possible. The only thing for us is to decide to go to Funa EPE field. Because for me, Jomo Bangshilo, Bengana experience, but to Kabal Tan for Lalendo Lengfuna Gienda. So I went for it. I was not concentrating on money. But it was love and patience for me. That is why today, uh, 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 But the very important thing, But the very important thing in business, Guti, when soever you decide to do something, it's either you are going for outsourcing or it's either you have e-funding or e-capital, stay in your lane. It's very, very important to stay in your lane because m most of us, you start something today, you jump to another thing. Um, we are joining us, Crowd one. <laughs> so, but the very important thing is to stay. Stay in that thing. You rather do many things, but know your foundation. Just stay in whatsoever you are doing. Stay in your lane. It's very, very important. Um, in business, everything is smooth. Uh, I started business. I born a ikula. I go show good. I have my challenges. According to my understanding, I go show good. My run a business. I have never been my challenges. But as a businessman, uh, uh, we must have that attitude of overcoming every challenges that we are facing along the way. Because each and every time we are facing new challenges. If you are running a business without challenge, that's not a business at all according to my understanding. So for us, is to overcome each and every time. That's the life of a businessman. To keep those doors open in my offices, it, it cost me sleepless nights. Most of the time I sleep uh, by the side of the roads. People are clapping hands that time. So, business is not as easy as some can think. That is why Uktala uh, e-business, uh, maupone ma challenge, we are No. Business is to overcome challenges each and every time. Jongo Bangisho, if you don't have any challenge in your business, that's not a business. Go for a business that will challenge you. That the business that... Uh, Most of us here, when so ever you are starting a business, um, we are expect to see they will support you. Your family members, your friends, are not in a vocab of a business. Your family members, your friends, your relatives are not in a vocab of a business. Let us stop hating our families for not supporting us. They are not there to support us. In business, we are talking about uh, uh, clients, investors, uh, what, whatsoever. Go and make your own research. But in the let's brother, sister, what, what, what? 
Let us stop hating our families for not supporting us. They are not part of that. Sure. So, you know where I am today? The VVIPs that took me here are the people that don't know me. The people that don't know me, strangers, are the people who made me. I'm so proud of strangers. Those are the people who will never ask for a discount. Those are the people who will not ask for any favor. So I'm made by strangers. So if we can take this and, 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 and go and implement to our ideas, you will live longer. It's not part of that. It's not the responsibility. You know, my heart is very clean. You are there. That is where I come from. That's the mistake that's killing us. Stop a mini local business most available. Mzala bank support. Ungena pimzala. I'm talking through experience. I've learned the hard way. But okay, this. We are going to learn learn to kuruma. Accident learn to research learn to research chile. I'm talking through experience. In 2014, I founded the Mampumana Gospel Music Awards. Um, after saying observe, we are like not only in, 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 in Pumalanga, but South Africa as a whole. We were the first to implement Emma Provincial Gospel Awards, the whole country. Then they copied the idea. I started with zero, without any funding. People they don't know. After 14 December uh, uh, 2014, at uh, Mbombela Stadium, I was in more than two million deaths. I received the e-funding from Uba Buposa, Baba Watsepiso. After the event, buffet. So in everything that I do, I start without e-funding. E-funding in Tola Ngendela. So I start in buffet. If I didn't to land there. Sigu pieces are to say what you stock at in the two million. Uber would look at manager hundred rand in your hand. So let us stop complaining about if I did. Funding, it took to land there. And you are told about funding. Demanded name from a national lottery. Today, as I'm speaking, Mpumalanga government is funding a Mpumalanga Gospel Music Awards. But it started from zero. Aiko into letter easy. Everything you have to work for it. According to my understanding, if what the MSOP from 6 to 11, you are not going anywhere, Babu. If you don't tell about Kuz, I mean, you have a John Kuz in Kuz. Then you are not going anywhere. Try to change and have uh, uh, the right formula uh, in terms of being a business person. Um, look by Lega Kul. Whensoever you work, if you want to be successful, Work like a proc man if you want to be successful. Thank you. Baben Gobe. Bamba Laba. Lendo Telena Nyati Salagua, you sing a Kali to Maso. You sing a Kali Gong at the Tenda. Nikalung Begged Laba. Yeah, Baben Goba Gasala Fa, Gasala Tul, Mulum Kul. Mulosa Tul. Microphone, 
when we collect 20 uh, 2010 2010 yes you know uh, okay. if you check your rate of unemployment in south africa today um, is very very high mm. uh, so i decided to start from even myself when i started i didn't know what the business be, will be where it is today mm. but i was doing this thing for a passion and love so you what is the business that you started with uh, i started with e printing printing uh, so i was a printer without a printer as i said <laughs> i was also seeing with the line a minute man the white river printers those businesses are still there today but those are the foundation where i'm coming from so when you went out you told people that you are a printer knowing that you do not have a print they do not know because you know my service was like hey, the clientele that I've built today is not good uh, 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 it's just came but it's the clientele that I built myself because the services that I was delivering myself I was delivered in your door yeah. so it was a very bad, uh, uh, good uh, uh, service because I told Ron Mas I'm, I'm printing for you business card <laughs> I'll print to you don't come to me so that was my business <laughs> So, I was like this. What does business mean? Exactly. What does business mean? What does business mean? With the patient. You know, when I started the business, I never thought I will be where I am. Like, seriously. Because, you know, the biggest challenge that we are doing, to see in lifestyle, learn more than our businesses. That's the biggest mistake. So mm. I teach myself, whensoever I'm doing something, I don't want to be too bigger than, the, than it. That is why whensoever people, but uh, who is the founder of Ngobe Media, when they say me, but I am Fanel, because I make sure that I'm living the lowest standard of life ever. Namutla babe, machine, so nai. Namutla machine, so nai, you put. You can see the pen, le pen, le, you print to Ngobe, le. So, so I have a, an office uh, 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 which is my head office na mm -hmm. na I have another one in Whitbank, uh, Eklifontein, then I have Ishisanyama Elokshine uh, uh, Namben. Then I have another branch in Jobek. Challenge that uh, Mr. Piso Posa and the others, we did not take serious pictures, and we must come to that. We are working backwards, but we'll, we'll do it correctly. Babengal Shuti, let's try and see if we can see if we can see if we can see if we can see if we Thank you so much, Bob. See you Thank you. Thanks. In my daughter, it is possible. It is achievable. It is doable. You put your mind to it. You mix up with the right people. You eat and consume the right stuff. Then you should be okay. A lot of us are too busy with, th with nothing. Too busy, but not effective or efficient. Ngobo 12, ngabo 1, 2, exeni. Tola mundu pizu watapu, cheka masteta sebandu. Umagu sautiniwe. Sukbo angu pizu, utole in, malin so, zero. Munda buge li TV, suge lango 5 p.m. until 11 p.m. Abuge li nema news. Gusu tova, guti Cyril Ramaphosa, the president, when they malin and then wapla master test like a con. Time is a limited resource, but everyone has it. How it is used will determine who becomes what. We can generate more wealth, but we cannot generate more time. We need to cut against the seven This is cutting in the lab. Nicholas Kitchi Memanje, Simuvele to the next item social entrepreneurship.
Mr. Sonwabile Ntloko from the National Lotteries Commission. Please welcome him on stage. Thank you. Mr. Sonwabile Ntloko has over 10 years working experience in the non-profit sector. He started as a fundraiser in the field and is now working for one of the largest NPO grant funding organization in South Africa, the National Lotteries Commission. His expertise span from fundraising, NPO management, corporate social responsibility and social entrepreneurship. To speak on social entrepreneurship, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Sonwabile Ntloko. Sanbunani, before I go to um, my presentation on social entrepreneurship, um, I'd like to know, Uguti, who would like to win a lottery? With a show of hands, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Who actually plays the lottery? With a show of hands again. Thank you. Um, normally, when I do presentations for National Lotteries Commission, NLC, that's where I start. Because there is um, a psychological explanation uh, who actually do things and succeed. But uh, if you are not expecting anything good to happen in your life, say for an example, as we come here for a, a, in the investor and bus a business seminar, if you're not expecting to get anything, you'll get all the information today, you go back, you don't do anything. So it's very important that whatever it is that you are given, have an expectation. That is why even the Bible will tell you that, um, I think it's Jeremiah uh, 29, 11, I'm not sure I'm this, but it says, my plans for you are not to destroy you, but to give you a hope and an expected outcome. That is uh, social entrepreneurship. So what is it a social, what is a social um, enterprise? Um, a social enterprise, it is an entity that is purpose driven. It is the very same thing like a business. We know with a commercial enterprise, it is profit driven. However, a social enterprise, you know, it is purpose driven. It is the utilization of entrepreneurial activities to solve economic needs or social needs or environmental needs. A social enterprise as well, it's a bit different from your traditional NPO, which is a traditional NPO will solely depend on grants, donations and sponsorship but a social enterprise as well has an element of generating revenue and maintain its sustainability, even if there are no donations or sponsorships. So it's a relatively new concept to Konala in South Africa and even in the world, but it's been around for quite some time and it's gaining momentum. And it's something that it has been looked at, Uguti, inking as communities that cannot be solved by your traditional businesses and NPO, the social enterprises, they bridge the gap. So the legal structure for a social enterprise, I go and deal in it because some social enterprises, when you go into your research, you find out that they are the for-profit businesses, which is like your PTOI, CC, and so on and so forth. Some are your cooperatives, some are your NPCs, and some are your NPOs. So my best advice to people that come to us and look at Istraksha Sabo, what is it that they are doing? It's to advise them, which number one, look at what you are doing and who can help you in terms of your program or project that you are offering. Number one, the first one is an NPC rather than an NPO. As an NPC, you own the entity, and there is no capping in terms of umangaba, you are doing some fundraising within the organization, unlike an NPO. An NPC as well can operate like a business, generate revenue. I'll give you an example of um, a social enterprise, SMA Nyeveni, that I visited some two months ago. What they do is they collect, they have people that collect um, plastic waste. And then when these people, Baba Nigas, are this plastic waste, they measure it, 
depending on the measure, they give them coupons. And there's a store that they work with. coupons. They go there and they get groceries in exchange of the coupons. Some, depending on the weight as well, they get um, imali. It has to be a lot of uh, plastic waste for you to get imali. But it's starting from Mama coupons where you can get groceries. So that is just an example of a social enterprise. Because in turn, this project or maybe this organization, what they do is they take this uh, plastic waste and benza ama plastic products and then they sell them. Now, going to illegal structure again, some uh, social enterprises, they register as cooperatives. And another thing which you have to keep in mind is that not every organization will fund just about any social enterprise in terms of the structures and so on. So, for an example, NLC, it doesn't fund cooperatives. As much as it's in that space, we only fund NPCs, NPOs, and, non, um, and community trusts. And then number three, you have to look at uh, the resource mobilization, which is a conundrum continuum in terms of where you get funding. Uguti, what is it that is going to attract people that are going to fund, organizations that are going to fund uh, my enterprise? One of the best ways of doing that, of getting your competitive advantage as a social enterprise, is to have a compelling story. For an example, we know there is something that is happening anyway, and it's captured on video. It goes viral on social media. So as a social, as a social inter um, entrepreneur, you have to have that type of a mind. Uguti, I'm a corporate company. That's one thing that they look at because of they are concerned about being good corporate citizens. So they want to align themselves with a corporate, uh, so, sorry, a social enterprise that is making waves. That is number one. Number two, what they look at is the impact. That is why it's is difficult for corporate companies to fund AMA startups in terms of AMA social enterprises. However, if you look at the competitive advantage as a compelling story, you can start there. So if you have been around for quite some time, that gives you an advantage in terms of tapping to a corporate social investment of uh, corporate companies, because at least they can tell Uguti, you can manage your finances well when they look at your financials, and there's a big probability Uguti, you'll be there for quite some time. Because when we measure impact, we don't measure it now, we measure five years down the line. The only thing that you do now is the outcome, and if you keep on sustaining the outcome, then sorry, is the output. If you keep on sustaining the output, the outcome, and then five years down the line, you get your, 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 your impact. And lastly, uh, before Ngishale Panzi, one thing that you have to keep in mind also, which is the way they think I'm a corporate social companies, is this quote, Ka'endu uh, Kanegi Eti, it is more difficult to give money intelligently than to make it at the first place. Uguti, buy a yenzimali, but yenzimali, when they want to give back to the community, they want to be seen. So they don't just give imali out. They make sure, Uguti, they give it to an initiative that one will cause Uguti wonga umundo abone, and then number two, it will be there for quite some time. Yabong. Social Entrepreneurship, Usevenda La Pagalo Tariz Commission. La Pan and Fanda Lanjanto. Okay, if funding a salutary, we have um, defense sector, uh, we have um, sports, we have charity, and we have um, arts. So each and every sector, it has its own committee. So when you apply, the first thing that we want to know is, okay, which sector are you in? Bagiti, Mr. Sonobile Ntlogo, my office at Corner Lionel Spray. Yes, it's number 29, Roo Street, next to the Nashua building. Okay. There's a new office there, beautiful office that we just occupied this month. Great stuff. So we are here to stay. Asim Shale Tantla Matota. Umaufuna Luati Lil Nini Utom Tola, Mr. Sonobile Ntlogo, immediately after here.
Hey, the picture my daughter, Kala, I'm looking for it. And I'm going to call a plan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yet, I'm going to go to the WhatsApp. 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 Munda shooter stone back, Covenia was a pooge. So Lupis, so they shoot a bunch of nag. Nkala Capele, Tinya Otak, Natsu Yagle level. Okay. Nkala send us all. My phone in a corner, Nish. Nkala and Kipe, if for you know, can't do the length of the send the fast. Kipe for Niako, Unganek Facebook, when the seventh Facebook. Anna Matat. Mkonza, ya beva bakala nge matata. Mkonza, ya beva ton kulmisa nge matata. Vele matata kufune yegi nita lenga au. Kufunu wa sebe ndi sefo mani. Ok, laba laba nge matata. Mwafika la pak Facebook. Ithimi ya te disi. Nke las fage tu ma hashtag. Kwa kasi is hashtag action it. Which you have said enough, but it is now time to act. Hashtag action it. Langa pass hashtag rebuilding confidence in entrepreneurship. Rebuilding confidence in entrepreneurship. Younger S. Kujan Kawelam. Ogase. Upelele. Ukona. Siabong. Rebuilding confidence in entrepreneurship. That's our theme for this year. Kasi nlesni ngo bana gala guti the economy is not responding positively, but we can see guti with this types type of talks boba bengobe boswana bilentlogo botse piso posa and others you can position yourself well and start to do something think na laba tagna luto kona kubeba kona luto leti imposenga court we adguti le kati nsasle tinga lange mova. Ntola ilo na man, i WhatsApp yalo, ya babe, ya, ya, babe siri ramapos. Uyang WhatsApp pela ngala, uti no, iron mas, nkalo mtumele, let's tombe la hapo. Ngit no, sorry man, chahile, ngit mtumele. Uti ngashuta manje, ngit mtumele lo mlom tala, ne. Ngobe ngit seng sabuga jala, ngawana titi, deputy president, ang paz. Seng ati na, ngat kus na, ufuna the same thing, ngkala kwenda fast, ngito ba tumele la banda ba tala, sorry ne. Hmm, le iba kala. Good. Ah, ito bang doon? Nigeta sa mga nabawat sa pele. Laban bang siya upa matot? Ang lali. Nga lo, ito bang ngon. Ito bang tumelele. Nga ba si tevele? Nga ba tumelele. So, ang funang agot si kende maput. Bakit si Tony ngon yaman yamat? Ngon tumangan so. Cellphone tingan eh, tu? Pasha siya batek. Logo niya? Ngok shumayel. Logo niya? Where's that in Nepal? Where is that? 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 Use your voice to make an invoice. That's what Tony Gwenyama is doing. So if you have a talent, if you have a gift, someone once said, if you do not use it, you will lose it. So the gifts, the talents, and everything, you must use it for money. invite, invite, platform. platform I think singwa. platform plus something. But the topic how do you monetize your talent or your gift? Namfuna kanga nati fata fata. Eh, labanda abeva, but bakfuna ba uti fata fata. Ladies and gentlemen, before simamgele, ne mat lo babe lo, ba kona ba itu la baba bega sega. Lo babe ne latu kola kola efemus. Le ni langa bogna babe, man babe, wase wase ngwenye, masinga. Babe masinga wabula lingwenya. Ngobebe imtela ma vichi a kelapa. 
begane fami akhele right nje so yafika le ngwenya iyedla le tindo talo muntu omdzana uyayishaya ayibulala sebamthatha masinga bamletha kubogwala gwala FM wagcina waya na sekhotho phela ayokhuluma indzaba yani yengwenya wafika ekhotho what's no problem ngikela ukuthi njobe ngimela lo muntu le ngimlimatile le ngwenya ngikela na imela stop uta uthi ngibani lokuqala lo munye la sebamfonele gwala gwala bam interviewer manje bafuna explain kancane ukuthi kwenda kaleni baba uthi mi nekuseni ngiyavuka ha ngiphakamisa lbhafu ngibeka lapha ngiyahamba ngithasa lijeke ngiyahamba ngiyo command ngiyabuya ngiyathela kokuqala ngiyabuyela ngiyathatha futhi ngiyathela kwesi two mangisuka lapho kulanza insipho ngibeka la ngilanza iva slap ngibeka la bathi hayi baba mani uthoqetsa kudala lethinto takukhuluma usolo usho ukuthi ugezile musi then khuluma baba sikela ukuthi fahla fahla uqetsa you know the next thing wavele kwathi kwa masinga fahla fahla ngikela samkele Doni Ngwenyama on stage thank you so much Doni Ngwenyama is a South African gospel artist who is famous for his song titled Bashe Shebahlega he is a father husband and a founder of Rehobot Christian Center Ngwenyama is also an entrepreneur who makes money from his voice through music and also through his and also through his fam Bashe Shebahlega funeral undertakers he believes in monetizing one's gifts and talents and make a living to talk about how to monetize your gifts ladies and gentlemen please welcome basha shibahlega doni ngwenyama eh siyabingelela sangonani eh ngithanda kubonga umfo wethu ubone belithuba langiniketwe lona and also ntjabulela nokuva kutsi ubaba ngobe is mentioning me a humble lack cela simshayela entanda ngaba ngutlo ngutlo khuluma ngabo la labaneng bakwati ngihlekana kakhuluma kutsi nangihlangana naye wathi uyahlabelela mina ngamtshela kutsi ukuhlabelela ngokubonda ko ngambuta ukuthi yini lokho nyalo kwathi kukwenda and he mentioned lokho la ngisingakho manje and kwamthatho kwambeka straight laya khona so ntsanza kusho ke kuthi eh the only way to monetize your gift is find yourself if you didn't find yourself you'll struggle trying to copy other people and you'll show back in three of your own because labaning base babizi ngendo le ngasi ngibo and mau bizi ngendo lo ngasi ngiyo yahlupheka until uzothi thola ukuthi ungibani wena ungathi thola thola gift uyipolishe kahle ida kuqala kokubhadala yini ke lokungakulekelela kutsi isheshe ikbadala build character for it because any talent or gift without character ngeke ikbadala iyokubhadala emasent and bekufuna ikbadala kahle it's because the gift is without character character is very much important if ufuna igift yakho ikbadala udle nakusasa noma nani one of the example jengoba ngiphila hayi ukuthi tshwala ngnathi mina xa ngingangithathi ka hayi ukuthi angnathi angaze ngnathi it's because of the kind of the talent i have ayibufunjwa hayi ukuthi angnathi angaze ngnathi ngobe nganatha ingalimala lo so every time buga build a character le tawukhona kuvikela the gift nkulunkulu and osis yeah 
Nabonga moyo ngwele. Nguzile ke wamba nami. Mangali swanguwe. Baba kulendela. We nungpete kase. Stanga sana. Angyabonga. Nabonga moyo ngwele. Nguzile ke. Wenu hamba nami. Asenya mangalangos, ay gulenfela, impela umpete gasege, estando asam. Ditinga bonga, moyongel, ingo banguzilege, wenu hamba nami. Asenya mangala, mangazangu e gulenfela. Bosi Jesus umpete gase, yestando asam. Dale lani, pete gase moyongo ebe. Ay, umpete gase, yestando asam. Ay, umpete gase, hey moyo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dale la mazalo, umoyongo le monte tu vele la inkinga. Ungena na wenkinge ni kwanga cha ungena na. Besu puma lula kwanga cha ungena na. Moyongo le si abonga moyongo le umpete gas agasi shosong umpete gas umpete gas. Moyon, petera sentelen, petera testan dosam. Iung petera, moyon gules. Iung petera testan dosam. Let me monetize it. Let me monetize it. My kids, shy guy.
Jesus. Ah, see, spirit is monetizer yet. Monetizer, a gift. Satan of Nagba keeper, the Pagus Banga monetizer, Siala. Monetize. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's say spiritless in the foot. Sim shall is under a king. Nyaboga, Lily, Lily, and Frank dance. Go dance after lunch. Go dance after lunch. But it just be warned. But the moon low mela pambil was strong. Ga cool, my land and look dance. Unel corno. Nanin to one a teller lingy to keep a good Muluna to damn it one. Ndoti bona nangu sa aluge hauta guronga kun. 
Uh, without wasting any further time, I'd like to call to the stage um, a lady from the beautiful province of Mpumalanga. Her presentation is on farming, piggery farming. Nkela kuti samgele on stage, Miss Kulile Matalela. Thank you so much. Uto osho ena kusuko ndenja. Ah, Michelle Ntanja Matota. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Uh, mm, we are going to go Ninga Mangali, Ninga Chugi. Um, since I go being a little my sponsor, um, Lakona Pagati, uh, Mr. Masilela, see, I bong opportunity. Loy letter la Empumalanga, um, the place of a rising sun. Um, no kulumang farming. A wise writer once said, You need a lawyer once, maybe in a lifetime. You need a doctor, maybe twice in a year. But you need a farmer every day of your life. So, that's where the money is. In farming, um, you just need to have focus. You can start. Um, Ipek Karin, Utili Mele, Futsing and Lela Imnans in Ireland, Vongalesnes Cassi, we are Utsin of Tritsa, La Mandila, Nen, Sanyelo, Tamatis, Utsu, one, two, three, to less like Timile. It's business, monetize it. Um, sisi singa shali sisi umsebendi awuko singa shali sisi um inza o mine lang sebendi la kona I I don't have a land, but manga chela guti I've got more than two hundred and something pigs, enza we neband. Don't wait for the government. The government ayi tole imoto yako ituma ihamba. Because it challenge you to, um, but never in bank for Nell. But how did you do it? Angzang and Sala, and seven dilemin and Gulubain. Nasimang seven, the Logu Fungus Lomlung began combat the invoice. Who's I? This is what I'm making. Guess how much I was earning? 3.5. And a 3.5 lay og, in Gulubain Yake. Let's ask Uhambisa how many pigs? Uhambisa. Every week, we have 150 pigs. We get 3.5. It's not even half. It's not even quarter. And then I sat down. I was like, "Hi, man." Ingang shula lendo lena. Ma ma man kotwa na bemo seven dindo like. Ewen, unga zuta se ma chance. Yegela. I ask guys. That's why I because in Africa, we show uma unale fear because niyo indo less bloka. Uba na logozi. Hi, man. Ndai kona. Se ufuna luvo leban ubuta banga emgan utawa kusi manga ikalange iya sounda utola in I I I emgan unga zufige lab. So then the more ubuta ban mina the way being shisa ngakona lendo being shisa mang kibeli le taxi nuga figu shalek tala nuga musengkingi nuga ngokotela ngengulu benji hey kuti hati na lenyi business lenyi kabanga ngo. Because the more we kuluma, the more we 
I think I have done enough talk. Now I have to act. And then once we are our act, in farming, guys, you can start with nothing. You can start with nothing, zil. In Sanyelo, I'm sure you told about begging the 16 rand. Trust me, yes, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say And I'm going to say that. This is how I did my business, no? Bank business, nothing will lose, and then nothing will lose. Nothing I can figure out. Mary, in Sanyelo, then every weekend, I have to go to the Sunday course. I have to hands. I have to sing. I have to show good time. I have to go to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have to go to the Royal Social Prize. It makes a lot of impact in the business. This, it's, it's business. I would sing in my good to call it business. Good singer in Gond. Good to Ukabang. The Department of Agriculture in my program. You know, you get young sitter and then Imega. Now your foods in our program. Now you eager young assist. NYT A. That was my figure. Uko kotagla mini mini yango. Lomunya kuto was ho. And then when services, uti le tingu lube taka sitendele ini. It's I. Tifuna good. Tifuna ni tichenga le good. Okay, so smash le good. Lama si tanga. When angige tanga. Then mean I will take care of everything. In agriculture, there are lots, lots, lots of opportunities. You can be a meaning a millionaire. I, 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 I am a millionaire in the making. <laughs> so, guys, la 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 business is a mitli bag. If ever Utsinga got in good mentorish and young Lube, the plus lambing in Vulet and you can come. Cause now let's discuss Lomunitak Jella putting a funa calapat and at free and con and then is a good pataris. Now accommodation in Dagloom said we are born. So my contact details in the Watolago, Mr. Masilela, and then is a nibe mote, Ninga Kosha. You need a farmer. Every day of your life. Log, log, kogile, mumli, mi. Uwas bon as toy toy atin. As toy toy. As na, as oskat sek toy toy. Kozi se atu kuti vele, abona, we are the millionaires in the making. E, zante ni. Asende stombe se tu me embasa, kse senja alo. Si ambongi, sa se, se gambe uyin la impumalanga. Uwine something, kelo ba kazele kutu uwine ini. Kusuge la gupi. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm um, a small holder and um, position one, and then a ministerial award youth um, position two. Yeah. I'm overall winner. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm a small holder. And then, I'm a small Nahamba, Naya a Cape Town. Mahalak, but not to make this thing money. So, Nahamba, I kept telling a taller e special awards in a corner foods. Yeah, best noble mum did this. Took him time, Jelita. Oh, next same WhatsApp group says, Yalo Ukalonanga Tingulube. Ukalinga three, let it prank. Put it all Three at three at two hundred and seventy five. Natibona Tingulu Taka Gustikutel Natibon Bambala. Thank you very much. Bagit Laban Bonga Labakulumala need to tell Altuba Luba Buta Imibuto after lunch. Ne? Se subi en comas, the pastor race. Mundu in Lenkomas, though seven de langala, but to be en comas. Bagit is cut set to see a hamba, I programmate ya hamba. Sitimisele gakul guti, si sbambes kati. 
Uma guba kona la guki chinyo kona. Ngeke la guti uba pale pansi makama abo laban laba kulma ago. Guti mbobani. So that you must pumala kona guba kulmisa fast. No me churing e lunch time. We are now moving forward. We were supposed to see Umasi Umas Maketa, no mess advertiser the event. Sigesa Kulma, one of the topics that seek to buy personal and corporate branding by Mrs. Hauntini. Bengitichele Gutsi, after I told the message yake last night, Gutsi Babes Sebam Admita Espedel. Gutsi Angege, into Velengim Kipe, like program, and Akulum, what's in no, Yakela. Lampeti lankel ko nang do kela guti ulba lel kamalam because I'm into branding. Branding is me, and I'm branding. She is my personal branding manager. If you are here as a person, and I call like a musician or you doing whatever in your capacity as a person, an individual, she is the person lang ako na ukasista to be branded. If you have your your firm. She can also assist you to have your firm branded. She is Hau Ntini on Facebook and other details on our Twitter after. Langa pan the school me lega cool guti. She spend this amount of time every day for many things. Some of those things or most of them are not paying us. She spend energy. She was spend this energy. La bangi no gusto mafag e time se mafag amount of time vele ingena straight yet to get amount of time. Shaya matata honga obegele kunga lungilu uto. Mufuna kubita le ngel kawe la. Le kawe balbita kutin bitcoin dead. Ya yati bitcoin. Kumbula nini mbeba mbeba nikunzi nga lai hauting batu mafunema bitcoin. Kuzi kutu bakone kululek. Right. Bitcoin dead is in the house. Sito mdinga altuba manje abe ato kuluma nge modern way of making money online or using data. His name is Togozane Bongmu Samkonza. Mine na e satanga na ku Facebook. Sugala last year. Let's satanga na jesabuga na Facebook. Ngambu, ngobu mangu vula le phone na Facebook. Kunes tombe sampati na amla ngapante nyakona gumbona ye na straight. Ngale gui. Ngambu wanga slo. Funa ngimza melo. Sa zama. So we have never lost contact ever since, and he's here to share with us. Let's see it. using my data. Let me not waste time, ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, join me in welcoming Mr. Togozanem Konza on stage. Togozanem Konza is also known as Bitcoin Dad. is a qualified sourcing specialist who holds a BTEC degree in public management studies from Tswane University of Technology and has 10 years of experience in supply chain management. In 2007, he joined Department of Water Affairs, then joined Council for Geoscience and later joined South African Broadcasting Corporation as a sourcing specialist from 2015 until the end of his contract in 2018. He discovered his new passion in cryptocurrency and network marketing in 2017 and has played a pivotal role in educating people about Bitcoin and how they can make a living through network marketing. He has helped over 3,000 people understand Bitcoin and earn an income in network marketing. With the high levels of unemployment in South Africa, Togozan Mkonza believes that there are other opportunities outside the normal 8 to 5 jobs which the government and the private sector cannot provide for everybody and believes that network marketing has great potential to help everyone who gets involved in an income. To talk to us about cryptocurrencies and Omega in particular, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Mr. Tozan Mkonza, the Bitcoin Dad. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming to this event. I'm going to be precise and straight to the point. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Mr. Ronmas for obtaining his master's in business administration. Oh, Uncle Siam. Wait, yes. Thank you. I mm. know it's, it's, it's never easy to juggle between serving the community and studying. Congratulations, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking that you empty your vessels and, you know, 
become ready to receive that which I am going to share with you. I'm going to speak about cryptocurrencies and the platform that pays us in bitcoins. I'm speaking under the, the topic, the elite will make you spend money on things that will never put food on your table. I'm speaking under the subject, the elite will make you spend money on things that will never put food on your table. How many of you are using Facebook? By the showing of hands, please. All of you are using Facebook. And how many of you are using WhatsApp? All of you. And how many of you are on Instagram? Ladies and gentlemen, our population in this planet Earth is approximately 7.8 billion. And a quarter of the world's population is on social media networks. And there is a very monopolized industry because money goes to one person. You look at Facebook. You look at Facebook. You look at WhatsApp. You look at Instagram. These platforms are owned by one person. You and I are spending money on a monthly basis. Some of you are contracted with Vodacom, Telcom, Celsi, MTN, buying data. And when you look deep into that, where do you spend your data? 99% of your data is consumed by these platforms. You are not benefiting anything for your content, for your time, and for the data that you spend. Data is currency. Data is money. Remember, for you to be able to use Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, you need money. You don't use those platforms for free. How do you need money? You need money to buy data. And that data, you spend it in these platforms, you are basically donating your money to these you know, social media owners. Do you understand? So I'm with a company called Omega. Omega says we are in the space of what these companies are doing data analytics, and market research. We want to incentivize you for your data, for your content, and for the time that you give away to these platforms without being paid. The question that I have for you is, how much are you spending on monthly, days, on monthly basis buying data? That is question number one. Don't answer me. Do an introspection. Question number two, wouldn't you like to get paid for the data that you give to these platforms every single day for free and they make a lot of money. That's question number two. Discover a modern way to make money online through Omega. What is Omega? Omega does data analytics and market research. What is data analytics and what is market research? I'm sure you guys have received calls from your banks. All of you have received calls from your banks or call centers from these 087 numbers. These guys, if they want information related to insurance, they will ask you questions like, do you have a life policy? Do you have educational policy? Do you have hospital plan? Do you have home content insurance? Do you have motor vehicle insurance? And when you are done giving them your answer, those companies will then take that information and sell it to insurance service providers like your old mutual, Sunlam Metropolitan. Two weeks down the line, three weeks down the line, you then get a call from Sunlam. They begin to sell you an insurance policy. How many of you know those calls? At times you get an SMS with your name and say name quoted, Mr. Roni Masilela, you qualify for a life cover of, you will be paying this much, these are your benefits. Haven't you asked yourself a question, or where are these guys getting my contact numbers from? It is because there are companies that deal with collecting our data and making money using our data. And we also do market research. What is market research? I'm gonna do a simple example. If Revlon wants to build a plant in in nail spray, Revlon must conduct market research. Revlon needs to understand how many women are living in this area, how many women are using facial products, and how many women are using hair products. Based on that report, Revlon will then make a decision. Is it going to be profitable for us as Revlon to come and build a plant in this area? So this is what Omega does. Omega was founded by two gentlemen, Bartos Nafalski and Lukas Bozek. By the way, we are the pioneers of this business in the entire continent of Africa. So they found a footprint through us in the entire continent of Africa. And they invited us to come to Ukraine, where their headquarters are. This is the lady who introduced me into the business. She's originally from Lesotho. Like Ron Mas has said now, we met on Facebook. Some of us are not on Facebook for selfies, for likes, for checking in. We are there to connect with people who will add value in our lives. 
So we went to Ukraine, we met with them, they paid everything for us. They came here in South Africa three weeks ago to help us launch the business. Mr. Ronmas was also there at the event. Let me see. We had over 1,700 people who attended our event. And uh, so what the company does, like I've mentioned, because of time, I'm going to skip other slides. It's two companies that came together and founded Omega. One is Expedite, Consul Con Expedite Consulting and the other one is Feed Software. So uh, let me move quickly. I mentioned that they do market research and data analytics. There's a huge problem with companies that are doing market research and data analytics. So Omega is the solution here because everyone in Omega gets paid for providing them with the, your data. A simple example, what do you do when you get to the malls and you are approached by a person who's having a product and he says, can I have two minutes of your time? I want to introduce you to this product. Do you give them time? You don't have time. Those guys are in the business of doing market research. They want to understand if there is a need for this product in this area so that we can, you know, push the product in the area. So we don't give them time. But if that person approached you, having 200 rands in his hand and say, can I have two minutes of your time? Were you, not, were you, were you going to say no? I'm asking, talk to me. If that person with the product approaches you at the mall with 200 rands on his hand and say, can I have two minutes of your time? Will you say no? In fact, you will wake up every morning to go meet that person in the mall. So Omega says, we are going to do exactly that. We are going to pay you for your data. So Omega is the solution because we are being paid for our data and you need to buy a product called an active box. That is, the, um, that is the tool that Omega uses to collect data from people. So there are a number of companies that are advertising their business in the Omega platform. All you do is simply watch ads, do the surveys that Omega is preparing for you, and then do the task, and then you get paid for doing those things. Our packages are very cheap, leaders, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You can start your business from as little as 200 rands, and 200 rands will give you 22% in six months. You can, you can then buy another package for 500 rands, which will give you 24% in six months. And the last package is 2,000 rands, which will give you 30% in six months. One can say 30% in six months is too little. And I ask a question, too little compared to what? Because this is an abstract that I took from Standard Bank. Standard Bank says, if you put this money over a period of 12 years, we're going to give you 6%. Here's another abstract. If you put 250 over a period of 12 months, we'll give you six, up to 6%. And another one, when you put 50, 550 rands in Standard Bank over a period of 12 months, we give you 6%. So Omega says, we'll give you 30% in six months. So these are our packages. Our profits are paid back to us every single day. So you are required to view your ads, your surveys, and the task. Do you know WhatsApp status is? Do you know WhatsApp status is? I always tell people that WhatsApp statuses are an advertising program. When you advertise your business, WhatsApp status will give you a detailed list of how many people have viewed your status, a detailed report of how many people have viewed your status. Money goes to one person. You and I are not benefiting anything. So it is about time that we monetize our data and stop donating it in the social media networks that are not paying us anything. By the way, I worked for the SABC and my contract came to an end. I love what the previous speaker has said. We cannot blame the government all the time. God has given us, you know, opportunities. There are people all around us that have business ideas. It is all up to us to hold on to what they are saying and fight for the life that we want to live. Babron Mas, I am done. Uh, because of time, those who want more information will contact me. The nicest thing about our platform is that we've got prizes. When you share the business with people, the company is going to incentivize you even more. So by God's grace, you know, because of the people that I work with, the company gave me this phone worth 18,000 rands. 
It's an iPhone. Uqin si le benko na. Msaga 26 October. La pen Paris Palace. Pas la lisa tuke lote le tu. Nga la la tuke ban so. Nga la le tu. You're done. I'm done. You are wise. Thank you so much, Mr. Mkonza. Thank you very much. Mafoto eta hamajan. Lamato talawa e Africa, i Omega in Africa inge nengabo. E Africa. So ba pesi kakulu e kauti. Nambo kuti bangan bamba right. Mambo kaje na wambo kuti sale out kisha i right. Yakeza. Thank you very much. Sia bonga Mr Mkonza. Thank you so much. Ni funak aknoleja. Babengosi, Bonganengosi in our midst. Um, he's originally from Gapogweni, but he's based in Houting. He surprised me. He's one of the people that I look up to. He coaches me from time to time. I want us to let me stand up. We have a number of people here, and we are grateful that you are here. Pumulkulenu Samuela, now in Togbona Spiritual. And then, Mufana go to see a last presentation just before lunch. The keynote speaker. What will happen after lunch? Ne? We'll spend a few minutes, close to an hour, having lunch. And immediately when we are done, about 45 minutes for lunch, when we are done, we request you to please come back. Now, when we come after lunch, we will bring the institutions. Laga nige tatimali. Lisito nge titmali, nilisito lili nga sil titmali patima business. CEO of Rising Sun TV, you are welcome. Thank you. Nki nga ngeze nga tante la wala wabang shuti li la ba. Bang faka tuke moto ya bole kool. Iko na langa pati CEO. Very good. Impuma langa ine TV station. It's called Rising Sun TV. Oma une mbuto, nomo mtambo ufuna kwenda tindo taako. That's the man there. That's the man for you uh, from Rising Sun TV. So I was saying after lunch, the institutions that are offering both financial and non-financial support, they are here. The giants are here. They want to make it easy for us. Explain a few things to us so that it's to Number two, we'll have an opportunity for people to pitch their business randomly, no meng bani, a snaka, magutis funa los funa los, no meng bani, and uto wina something wambe na wye kai. Number three, so when the lera fully to leana, bandu batu wina le something, bahambe na yabaye kai. Are we together? Are we together? So I tell amato takuti ninga hambi, the session will not last long after lunch, ngobe asfun guti si pumule after lunch, but it will be very shorter than this one. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, when looking for a speaker for this seminar, last year you remember that we had Dr. Matthew Sposa as our keynote speaker, an international entrepreneur, former premier of this province, and a serial entrepreneur. This year, when looking for a speaker, we sat down, we had a list of names of people, we wrote them, Sabakansel, Sabapala, Saba cancel. Saba pala, saba cancel. Safika to el point la possess gena corner. Lelling a langanje. Fell pants in gena, letting the lace, kulmago, lagbo Facebook, nagbo internet. Nkangan and a lenny organization, but see 67 CEOs. Now check at in the tab on jay. They are in line with what I do. Now, Gataga get into the phone spenders cutty. Sako goose, and a matter to ask so ako goose. Funagbang let in the lofunaton in Bilin. Because what you focus on grows. That's what they say. If you spend your time, ulanzilana na botishela, but you expect to be a social worker, forget a bit. If you will arrive there, you'll arrive very late. If you want to be somewhere, understand who is in that field. Follow them. Look at what they do, how they do it. Mokshesha will arrive at, at, at that point. An example, if a person, a company worth 50 billion rands, 
We are lawyer over 30 years, and we are starting today. Afunegu zokala pass. The thing that hit Tabona must not hit you. You must learn from them. The experience of 50 years or 30 years, where now we are going to be some of it. Remember something of five years when I told them is cases none. So the people that you follow matter the most in life. I then followed Lapana, and one of the persons that I found is a lady by the name of Batabi Lemoreki. She is an NTP youth ambassador, multi-franchisee, and a township uh, economy transformation expert. She is based in Houting, originally from every state, and she is here in our midst. This person talks about township economy. But it's a township economy. Most of us, if not all, we are coming from a township. No me manje sotala samwe, but yunga cheka gat, ubiya samwe. Nesko botako tikona legu township. Now what happens when you study, since the 20% of each and every rand, lendi of the trillions, as South Africa is coming from a township economy. That's why you want to shopping complex. As on Zela Lapa, Emakaya. It's not good about try, about try. They know because there's money there. There's serious money in township. But what is happening in Lemali, I say, 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 so Township economy is power. Township economy has money. Your clients are there. What is it that you have that is of value? Because when you present it to people, they cannot deny it. Water is water until it is purified. Once purified, it can be sold. Once a person is processed, the person can be sold. Once your, pro your product is perfected, it can be sold. Anything, anything. No matter where two bandu, they are doing the same thing. You need to add value to your product, add value to your service, and go out and sell it. People will come to you. They will prefer you. <laughs> Don't ever think Goodson Lake Township the same guys bahlale makhaya enebona they choose to work under a person instead of opening something of their own. Some of them have experienced gamnans. So does your so never undermine the product and the service that you are offering. And begin to understand there is money. Let me not waste time. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you so much. something. Ma'am, thank you very much. Now, Baba, do you tell her? Thank you. San Bonan? Oh, you mind your own fagella, my soul. I feel honored to be here in Pumalanga. I don't take such opportunities for granted.
Izolo, I slept, I think, at 11 p.m. because I was supporting another entrepreneur, Gauteng, which we work closely with. And today, I was here, I think, around 8 o'clock. So I drove from Centurion, and you were getting oh, half past two. I had to go and fetch my sister so that I can be seen there, so that we can be here on time. And we were here on time. That's how I don't take this opportunity for granted. I would rather sleep three hours and honor such opportunities. So, Roni, thank you so much. <laughs> so, I'll just give a background so that you can relate. Because if you don't know where I come from, you will think, ah, she's one of that comrades. Ah, she's one of that Ayazama tender. So, me, Nangibuya, a free state, the Kaya, a Kwakwa. Who knows Kwakwa put it up? Very rural place. As we speak, we don't have water. Electricity is a big challenge now. So, that's the problems that now we are facing back home. So, I came to Gauteng, like most of us, will come to for school. And fortunately, our government assisted. I used NSFAS, which was then TEFSA, to further my studies. My diploma, I did tourism management. I'm not sure if it's still offered. It was one of those courses. Yeah, so I loved it. <laughs> I was an A student doing maths. I've got A plus standard grade. But then you turn the tourism. Because but you'll fly, you'll see the world. That's why I can travel, because I can travel. So when I saw tourism, I'm like, no, this is for me. I will do what I love. So that's what I did. And upon finishing my uh, diploma, I worked for private sector up until I joined government. A government, I was in events, space, and marketing. And through that journey in government, that's why I always encourage people to say, wherever you are, serve with your whole heart. Because you'll never know who's watching You'll never know who you'll meet. And I joined government, it was 2007. I was deputy assistant director. And in government, assistant director, like, I was private sector, so we'll take it for granted. But also, who's our assistant deputy director? We are born at the time, and the government, we are seven. So I, I mean, I and So within three months, I was fortunate that another lady that I didn't even know, she was from the Eastern Cape. I'm born and I'm seven to one. I'm a hard worker, Mina. If we are figures, you are peg and you are peg. If we are bent eyes, you are bent a song. I am very, you are tender with food. So that's what I did. And fast track, I was in the minister's office. I worked with no minister, Kumwana. Uh, she was minister of arts and culture and uh, minister of women. I worked with Deputy Minister of Arts and Culture as a personal assistant. So when I was offered the job, I didn't apply for the job. HR called me and they said, there's a position, we would like you to have it. I was like, yo, PA, but me, I've got a diploma. And I just finished my BTEC. PA is when Zani, you know, like, not knowing. But I was like, you know what, let me go and learn. I'm new in government and I want to learn. And I took the opportunity. I was Deputy Director. But when people come, whether umama, umtuana, as a bonu minister, I was making tea. You know, Abanyabantu, they will laugh and say, oh, when ziti, ye can do my PA position. And I love the job. Because be, before you make the tea, you are saving um, the community. Because the people who come to government, it's our communities, it's our mothers, it's our sisters. So in each and everything you do, just remember that guti, oseva ibaandla. So whatever knowledge that you have, share with um, the people. So that's how I learned the good work of government, and I appreciated more about our country. So, but for me, I've always loved to own a business, even though I didn't know what kind of a business. And when I was in government, that when, uh, I think around 2009, I was introduced to the programs like CEDA, National Empowerment Fund, to get into business. And in Malizabo, it was not small money. Like any F, they will tell you, they fund from 1 million to, I think, 50 million. Then there's DTI funding from 50 million to some billion, something like that. So I started studying such programs, and I took the opportunity. I was like, 
I'm going to apply for funding. I'm going to start a business. Because every day we will attend programs in government and you will hear people, and especially black people, will always say, I don't have money to start a business. I don't have access to market. And I, I ask myself, why is that any FC, the CIFA, they are talking that they've got money. But now, as black people, we can't get the money. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to access that money. I love business and I was excited by such. And I applied for a business. So here, I'm not promoting those business. I'm here promoting the good work that is being done by our government and the good that is done by entrepreneurs. It's just that you, I need to share the names. So I applied for a franchise business. It's a pizza business. It's a Dibonese. And my first funding, it was funded by NEF for one million. I didn't know anything about business, a formal business. I used to sell curtains. I used to sell holiday vouchers. I will sell anything. But I took that opportunity to say, I'm going to start a formal business where when you open up the door, you can have a business. Not because we've been for too long. And Mautu has 10 years down the line, but you hear CEDA, you hear NEF. So when you come to such platforms, make sure that the information that you get, go back home and apply them. It's either in your life, if you want to start a business, take the notes of the speakers. Go and apply for that business. I'm a piglet. With three pigs. So if when your interest is chicken, learn from her and say, how can I now grow chickens? So I went back and I took the notes to say, okay, ENEF, ITA, IFUNA, one, two, three. I checked their website and I did a business plan. So today we hear people say, you know, a business plan, I say, Benzi. So can I see who is owning a business? Tech shop, so we are about, I think, 80%. So can we please be honest with each other? Today, in your computer, in your cell phone, who has a business plan? Yeah, business, yeah, I can. So I see about 20%. My daughter, the moon we chose, and again is popular. Tell us, forget my slide, tell us, fast. Thank you. <laughs> and then in life, I think we had a speaker earlier who talked about whatever that you think in mind comes to life. I think there was a speaker who spoke, I think, number third. So now we've got ideas. If you want to build a house, how do you start to build a house? Well, in Kali, Mike. How do you start to build a house? Just short, short. How do you start to build a, a house? This is fine. Start with a plan. Hi, this is how do you measure? Hi, Sisi. Hi, Sisi. Hi, Sisi. Gupi. La, la. Okay. We start with a plan. Okay, you start with a plan. But the yeah. plan is start a Gupi. It's a Kamu Ganje. With that idea. An idea, ne? Roni, it's like. So we agree, ne? We all start with ideas, right? In our minds, ne? And then Zini, Lama, idea, need. You want upstairs, you want two rooms. Abanya, they want one room, they are happy. I mean, I'm not happy. I want seven rooms. Yeah, so everything, it will start with ideas. We've got the fashion designer, with a skirt. Before you make a skirt, buy it web. Matatama measurements. We all agree. So that the skirt can fit that person. And it can be exactly what you wanted, right? If you are an artist, before we enter the full painting, Uras, that's all. I need to touch a pencil. I need to touch a pencil, then add the colors. Even woodwork. But if business, 
umuntu yaqala today i mean like sasa ngenzi catering do you know that uhleli nje nomuntu niyaphuza december hayi mina ke sasa ngiyaqala nge catering and then ufuna ukuyibona le catering ukuthi izoba kanjani don't you ask yourself ukuthi izoba kanjani are you going to serve what sandwiches bega full plate are we not supposed to see do ebe qala le business yethu so that my puma iphume the way ube idwebe ngakhona angithi nje nge baking abo mama ba baker bayaz le ncwadi yama scones angithi siyabhala half cup 3 over 4 milk 2 eggs angithi so that tomorrow when you make it it's exactly as you had designed it ne so even with business which i always get disappointed when somebody and you say can i have your business plan and say no my business is in my head and now you want people to understand your business which is in your head so if you don't have a business plan today please in the next 5 days download a template a business plan doesn't have to be 20 pages 5 pages of the summary executive summary your marketing your location two pages of excel of your financials focused in budget in a lighter way so that you can see how much cost you're going to need for your business to run what is that you are expecting to get out of that business so that my sekala ivulwa at least you know what's happening so a lot of small businesses we always cry that we can't get funding if funding it's a lot government institutions private sector baya funda mina my first business it was with nef with 1 million funded the second business after two years i expanded my business and i got a combo the three way the one with the bonus yes and fisherways it was funded by a private sector by a bank so the reason why this funders fund they will fund you if you've got a proper paperwork which number one they will all want business plan even the minister isolo uthe she has new tools the minister of small business of helping small businesses to get funding she highlighted you will need to complete an application form so please don't walk around with your business without that those paperwork save them in your laptop because those paperwork that's what they will help you access funding and please don't be fooled and say me now i don't have money to pay a consultant all my business plan i did them on my own i still have my business plan even today if you you meet me and you say batabile can you help me with a business plan i'm going to give you my one when you just edit to your answers according to your business because remember you are the director of the business so you've got the best answers to answer your business plan don't rely on consultants consultants they are just going to copy and paste the consultant has never been a farmer do you know a consultant who was a farmer who has ran a farm who has ran a tech shop a consultant they just go to school yes it's a business for them we cannot take away the credit of knowledge but to be honest as entrepreneurs you are the one who knows your business better we rather come in and get people to help us to write the proper english but when who always yo kuthi how to make a dress better than a consultant better than the banker the banker can just help you to interpret your numbers better but when who always yo kuthi i will need 3 meters for a size 32 person or you will need 2 meters for a size a 28 person so never underestimate yourself as entrepreneurs a business plan it has just about seven answers that you need to fill it in it's not about those big documents and number two, even the budget don't think uti i don't know how to make a budget for my business today if in ngathi we are going to cape town sihleli sona already you're going to get into your phone you're going to check a flight you're going to check a bus we're going to calculate petrol and decide uti are we flying are we taking a bus or are we clapping into a car same applies with business you need to understand what are you going to need you're going to need a machine you're going to need material and most important please when you do anything directors you need to earn a salary ungasabi kufaka mina i need to earn 10000 how are you going to survive because you're working into the business or are you don't need money directors as the ceo of the companies 
Are you paying yourself? Buti, are you paying yourself? With your yellow blom, how much are you paying yourself, pap? Don't worry, we don't know you, so we're going to forget. Unfortunately, I don't have a running business. You don't have a running business? Yes. Okay, but you are here to listen, I need. Yeah. So, so we, like, uh, you need to, first day, first month, you need to put a budget. It doesn't mean you're going to end it, but you need to put, this is your worth. I need to win Zoom 7. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that you know, Guti, finally, Zoom 7 is to earn a salary. Because the other thing that kills us, entrepreneur spirit, is when we don't have money. You don't have money of paying a gas a car. You don't have money of paying um to an ecrash your one fifty or a six hundred. Now you're gonna be discouraged. Yeah, but so we always forget about ourselves. It's not about the money, but you are planning so that you know what my business need to go towards this direction of affording me a salary. Because as a person, you need to earn a living from your business. You are the first employee of the business. So don't be shy to put yourself a salary. Ne? Yeah, so um, don't have a business. Who has a business? Yes, I need business. Yeah. Okay, ma. Yes, I need business. Yes, in Gulub. Okay, and then every month we are hola. Yeah, what says? We are salary sleep. You are going to go to your hola. Yeah, but ma'am. Oh, nice. Man, she's shining, isn't she? And then we are not going to business yet. Let's be honest. We are all sharing. Our holy pap. When's any business? Minus some ni day some drink plus ni a supplier. And then our holy. Ish. We go manage it. I cannot really say ni a holy because I'm I'm still trying to invest for a a business a little bit stable. And then manjo when zani uye uye join utata five hundred. I get a whole bag do. I want to muse again join. So ya tata ni ana one fifth. So ya join join la we. I'm join just some, but I'm a pay six days in ten eating. I most of them u go ku corner. So. I but that's good business. Nini nui ya tata la poku business u kote buti ya store. Ya ibona marie zani. So now you end up stealing from yourself. Ya iban and you are not doing it purposeful. But at the same time, how ding a e at time? What are you gonna do? You gonna take from your business? I'll sell barely at time. Month end is in the sub balance. I'll sell kunu tengi stogo. What happened? Uchonjile in your business. Let's be honest. That's theft, unfortunately. Yes, the intention was not theft, but the transaction that has happened is theft. We are going. So even if you pay yourself weekly, two hundred and fifty this week. Next week, hundred went. Yeah, you understand? then it helps. But that's why I'm here to tell you, we've been doing small business for very, very too long. So I think we need to move from small to growing businesses. So with my mentorship, that is called Township Economic Transformation, I help businesses in the townships. It's either you must be from the township or your business must be based in the township. So the reason for that, why I chose to help township businesses is because of the study that has been done and shared to say 100 billion is the township economy contributed to the whole country's economy. And now you ask yourself, 100 billion, but in the township, you see, today is catering, tomorrow, 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 so the 100 billion, who's benefiting for that 100 billion? U Dr. Kambulu Kono sa sinaita na msanj. Gutile 100 billion. Who is benefiting because me na es ubatabile. I don't see township businesses and communities really benefit from that. I see ama mall u ronu ya asho. I see abe lungu mina baya ngena e township bapume. Bana na ma business bata basale township. So it always bothered me because nami my first business. It was a franchise in the township. And people thought, hey, it's a bad idea. People won't buy. And surprisingly, first day, new Vula, Imyang, my sister was there. First day, the shop was packed by black people. First day, I've never been in my own hands 
had 28,000 cash. I didn't even have speed points. So that's the money that we cashed that day. So from day one, it bothered me to say, there's money in the township because I never thought there's that money myself. Now, you ask yourself then, why are we not rich in the township, ma'am? When Apella, you know better these things. So it's not where we're going wrong and correct us. So these mentorships, I want to help businesses to start proper business. Because when you start a business, you have said, you have said, you have said, you have So now, funding a business is quite risky. You cannot pay the same time, the money. So now, it's going to affect the whole family. Maybe he has siblings. So now, in my industry, it's white dominated. And we talk, white people are very open about their business. If you ask them, and then how did you buy these businesses? They will be frank. No, no, a certain bank funded my business. Everybody in my circle, they got funded by a bank. But we are always funding our business with personal money. Kavanganje. With our mama koya retire, fanel aham by yabo Cape Town, now utata ufagi business. Two months evalue. Now when I know mama, you are now in trouble. Now ubolega gu andi, guna no mshad. Now you can't go gu mshad because u andu zoj u yangolo taba tu go gika tu lezisha. We are understand them. Our imik pela who knows this? We are even our sakona no post on Facebook gu tu yali bega. Because u cousin, u bole kima, u zat haibo, u so ya di bega mzala ba du sang kolet, ya nasan, and mau tu ya checka, ya zini ne, in dem kum, mau tu ya checka le man le bag bole kia yon. You don't even have a proper business. That's the sad part. You know if beba tibag bole kile and then you are getting those nice returns, u boni le lama thirty percent, it will be something. But mau uti, u ban ban o ya kolota. So, and I'm out to your check. I'm not in doubt. You don't even have a company car to say I'm in a bank. But like, I'm not in doubt. And I'm out to your check. Ten years, yes, you're going to say I started a business. But all, most black people, it takes us ten years to get to a point where you can earn a salary. Is it worth it? What are we trying to prove as black people? Good is struggle. I think I struggle into it. Are we getting recognition? Say, good day, when we struggle, we are in the business. Hey, mama, are you going to give us awards? No. <laughs> so, Mina, I'm saying, can we just use money that is available, whether it's government or private sector, so that when you open up a business, we are to the next slide. I think the fourth slide. So, those were just the ideas to show you. Good, each and every industry. Professional, even business, they do their ideas on paper, then they become reality. But we find that with us entrepreneurs, all our business are in our heads. And the next slide. And then I've got two types of business. This is the business. What can you see other than open for business? Who can tell us what can you see other than the open for business? So umyango is like you've got a shop, ne? And then the next slide. Okay, Baza is a leak again. So Mina, what I'm just trying to say is that let's try to have proper businesses in our townships. It doesn't mean Gutimose Township, Itek Shop Yako, must have one can of tin fish, two cold drinks, auna teal, auna shelf, gungo lile, auna uniform, we are stock, we are vala, we are stock, we are even one employee. You understand? Or you make a lot of that situation. You are in a salon, but you figure in itawele zako zi chuzi ngo lilo umama ya wano goge nice uzo puma hand utuwa lo usisa puma nye peke yaki beso chai black people don't support blacks angitisi joranjan it's not the case 
customers everywhere, whether they're from the township or they're from the suburb, they know what they want to buy. They know what they are money worth because everybody is seven seconds in. So most of saloon, a township, is a selfie, a poster, check in, at kupi kupi salon, here you are. You want to see a white towel, you want to see a clean uh, salon, but hygiene is very important. So that's the thing. With Maokali business, use the business money to start business. Because a business now, we are registered. It becomes its own person. So let's birth the business with its own money. We seven sell for winner. So that now we don't mix the two. Because that's what happens. Once you use your money for business, you're going to take that business money to use for yourself. So that transaction is a bad recipe, and it's been happening in our communities for years and years. So, Mina, I'm encouraging you, each and every one, Maokali business, as much as but start where you are. I, Banda, 25 years of democracy. I cannot start where Uba Abakale Kona, Uba Nimba Nakale Kona. We need to move on with times. A lot of opportunities. Government is working day and night to better our lives in the communities. So it doesn't mean good now you must start where you are. If you can, start with your own money. Start with your own money. But treat that money in the right transaction. Good. It's a business loan. Take it back later when you are settled. But if you don't have, don't say, me, I don't have money. Go to different institutions. Get the money to start a business. But do the work first. The paperwork, they don't need you to have money. You can even ask around a friend, do research, use free Wi-Fi, Google, to do a business plan. Do a business budget to say, what are you going to need? And be realistic. Don't be like, I am going to call 5,000. You need to understand your needs. If we are renter, you need to have a rental money, which is, let's say, 1.5. You need to have transport money for meetings. You need to have airtime. You need to have data. So those things, let's be realistic so that we can start proper businesses. Don't be shy to walk into F&B. Nah, promote. Don't be shy. They are not promoting Mahala, guys. Yes. All of us here, we are their clients or potential clients. So you see how important they see us. But now when, when you need their help, you shy away with high. No, I'll turn the square I'll turn the I saw many cars outside. Who bought their cash cash? Nkala ah tani moto ya cash apa miki se isanda pezu ufungumba na mina. We won. By two. Kalala. Who bought their houses cash? Inu i bond cash. Nkala para miki se isanda pezu simbon. Who has opened a business with a bank man? Nkala ufungumba. I have. So see two. So now, e motor status quo late. For example, it's eleven percent rate interest. E motor at three hundred thousand. In lieu, it's five hundred thousand. Let's say interest yako is still eleven percent for twenty years. E business, it will be more or less the same interest, which gives you money. Not good to enjoy but all. You are not so man. So why are we not taking business loan if we are so brave? to take car finance and house finance. What is so taboo about business loan? Ying nien to enza guti business loan ibe so bad. But a business loan, why haven't you buy a sub? Why mau tati business loan but you can't go let? But mau itanda e house finance sends an after king house swarming. Yes, go let the footing with credit card we buy some purpose. So why is that business loan we see it as bad? Why is it bad? Maybe there's something that I'm not aware that we need to educate each other. When is this about a business loan? Other than um, I can't qualify. Why is this a business loan? Why is this a business loan? Why is this a business loan? It may be some of us, but we want to show which the business we enjoy is open to money. We want to pay it back. So most of them, but at some point, 
and uh, other stuff because bar seven and then they've got a guarantee a salary. Mm -hmm. But we business, we don't have a guarantee. That man will come back and pay every month. And it's the truth. But to come up with Obomela, who just told us good over seven, but to put over seven, the SABC, as I'm at home, seven, like Opeli, Eastern Bank, how many people that they retrench? Or Tata E. Bond, 20 years. We are going to go to risk is everywhere. And with business, it's even more controlled because business is yours. Good time and if business, mouse go better than up because me na say you join the business. I say you get an up. I need to let say you join the Gwenzi tender. If you tender lay your bed, I man also ya zezin yizin do along the way. I need to ama entrepreneurs in jail. We learn so much. Usi si again zo onki ama pigs pair. Kona manju putu bakuluma nye omega. We understand that when you are in business, you become more controlled. And the fear, I always say it's a, big, it's a good thing to say. But a dream that is not big enough to scare you. It's the dream that I have. Because the dream that I have, I want to see the businesses that I mentor growing. I want to see the businesses that I mentor growing. So half past two, I come to Mpumalan. We understand good to you when the dream is, is too big. Finally, you choose. So once you choose, which means you are in the right direction. Finally, we end the business. But to settle your fear, work on your numbers. The other slides, I want to show you a business. When you open up a business, you are a CEO. You are not a hairdresser. I need to fully saloon. You are not the best hairdresser. You become the CEO. So the CEO's, next slide. So the CEO's job, I'll show you the table of a CEO. A CEO is not how the best style that you can make if you make a mechanic or A CEO, you must know the roles of a CEO. Today, what's the role of a director of CEO? So that you can understand your position. Your position is to look into those numbers. You don't have to be an accountant to know the numbers. But you need to understand numbers. Good. When you, you've got 10,000 and when you've got a million, what does it say for your business? So that's when you can be saying, I'm scared because my numbers don't look good. And the numbers in 20 Tandayo is not a fixed as a stage. Numbers, you can work them. If your profit is less, which means you must do what? Sell more. And selling more, it doesn't mean your expenses now must go up. Ubaba uzilela atimina, I'm simple. And nam yimbonile, I was looking for that LV belt. Yabano kone nyi, labo puti, laba bazo koka la LV belt, eli brown. So bengi nifuna gulo puti, because I bato na neimad. Manje nyi nyashola, nifuna guiba na lemad. O puti, I ask kulu mela, atay mina nyi simple. Ay, bati mali ena unayu. Don't make mistake. Mama is a fashionista. <laughs> so it doesn't mean when you increase sales, manage even your expense must increase. So that's how you can settle your fear. To say, okay, but how can I control that? That's why business needy is better than even employment. It's a security call. And number two, that people don't know. You know, once you go to f and I'll use them because they're here. I'm not promoting them. I don't bank with them. I've got a bad, bad, bad history now, but I'm happy that they are here to empower somebody. Ne? So don't say good is banging back clumel. Yabana yaba these are no parties. I'm now with another bank. So now one thing that I love about these banks, once they give you money, you know what's happening. So we are same WhatsApp group. So my win is their win. My loss is their loss. So now F and B, what are they gonna do? They've got Specialist, accountants, lawyers, marketing specialists, Ashem, so you've got uh, employees already. So don't see the banks as, as if you loan them money. They, are, they work for you now. Because now and then they will pick up a phone and say, Yo, your bank account is one high, I am big. Then Uzambuza, I put them, Obotisan Zaganjan, Uzak Chela, Atiazin. 
one thing that I've seen, your transactions, expense, your, your petrol card, hey, this is old, a little slow. Biabana now is a free consultation. Who was going to tell you that the illegal person will come and say, hey, this one, you, 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 you're high risk, what, what, the insurance people. Yeah, that's not good now, you've employed people. Then, um, like, I'm looking here, I had good, I'm meeting businesses. The only business that I'll remember when I live here. I won't speak about the pigs because she was a speaker. It was Umama who came here with a uniform. I don't know her name, which is bad. Because man speak and leave. How will I remember? But the nice thing is that I will have information to say, no man, Roni, Umama Otungayo. Already it's a bonus. So if you come to such events and you don't brand your company, how must the people know about you in your own community? Who are your own customers? You need to wear your brand. You are a business. You are the number one employee. So if you don't promote a business, even the day Ukashile, your staff will tell you, I see so I'm in a uniform and you're gonna understand good uniform because now Ibe Ukshule uniform. Now, you FNB, you brand, a big company. Now, you have a business investment, if you are in futures and don't, don't. You understand? So, the simple way, you could have just picked up a phone and say, organizers, I'm a business, I do A, B, C, and D, can I bring my banner? Is it allowed? Can I wear my T-shirt? Can I come with my car sticker and put your car sticker? You need to be a working billboard. In McDonald's, no more puzzle, more 3 a.m. on Zula. You see that big M. Say, I say, but you are not eating your salad. No more. So, as a mom, to not eat beggar. I'll clum in a stairs, I'll clum in a KFC beggar. You'll remember in McDonald's. But in a black people, say, and Zula every day in your house. Every day, I'm a take say, and Zula. There's no sign now go to your baker. I'm going to sign now go to a panel beater. And my uncle, we are bala. In Duang, for Abantu Ben Zamataven, we are bad. He always says, a business without sign is a sign of no business. Because Sasa of any business, but Abantu, we pass here every day. Mabatai, who can also so big, I see to Gupi. Estra, then you could be such a high loss, business. Because what? We don't see anything. So Nabantu don't flock into your house because Abai born. So entrepreneurs, make sure good to wherever you go as a business. Brand yourself. Have a business card and brand your business. This is a platform, all of us here, we've got corporates. You are manufacturing cleaning detergent. Then we're going to say they don't support black businesses. Unfortunately, in business, we don't use mercy and peach. Business, we are all business. I need to, we, we don't say we are tech shops. Uh, so in business, we're going to be treated equally. So now as small businesses, let's take ourselves serious. But number one, as I'm closing off, please, please use government or bank to fund your business. It won't fail because you'll have support for free. ENEF, I've got policy, HR policy, NEF paid for them. Net bank, I'm with Net Bank, I've got a banker. Like now, I can WhatsApp my banker and say, yo, I'm in crisis. M7 Zini, but he is stuck. Goopy, goopy. He knows better. He will see how he helps me. Because he knows if I fail, Nabobaya fail as a business. They don't want fail in their books when they've got personnel. And number two, once you are with a banker or you are funded, it makes your life easy. You run a business. In color that slide, every entrepreneur here, we want to be CEOs. This is the table of an entrepreneur. Go back one slide. This is the table as an entrepreneur. You've got a laptop. You must have a phone. This is our life. Laptop, phone, data, if you forget my class, a coffee, a notebook. So this is a CEO. Yes, use your hands to empower your team and your staff. If you're a hairdresser, but remember your role. This is your role. This is how you run your business. Marketing is in that laptop. Reports in that laptop. Your clients in the phone. Social media is good for your business because me now once on inbox I need help with mentorship. Before stories I go to your social media. Ubizi first page, first post, ubizi u promoter. Hennessy, 
second page, Nike. I am not going to take you serious. I mean, I want an entrepreneur I'm going to see pigs. I'm going to see cakes. But now we are trying to do something. So don't underestimate the power of social media. Everybody, every company, your food outlets, your fuel stations, your books uh, outlets, retail is on social media. So now as a business, have a page that is linked to your business. Konamanje, you start in Facebook as Ubatabile Mureki. Have another page, say, pigs with Batabile Mureki, cakes with Batabile Mureki. You understand? So that you have your business on social media platforms as well. Ne? But please, today, if you know with me now, I'm going to start a business with business loan, and that money is going to come with benefits that is going to help you grow business. Your first day when you open the door, that slide that I had, you must open a business, not a hustle. Still with hustling and babies and scrapping the boot, like we are telling you, say, Boudini. No, no, no. I think we, we should learn from where others um, ended. Now, rewriting the history, we're not going to get anywhere. 25 years in democracy as black people, we need to see businesses that can employ. Konamanja, small business, last thing, said they're going to fund a business can can hire 10 people. So in your business plan, as of today, you must show 10 jobs. One is for yourself. You are the CEO. These are, are your roles. You must have your CV. Two, it must be people that you'll be hiring. So you must show 10 jobs already in that small business. To show good, a small business is a big business. Thank you. Before you sit down, before you sit down, uh, before say lunch in, can I tell you my my kia? Kebagiti, San Bonan, Njani, Nkona, Nkona ngala, ngala Nkona. Laba ngasi ba ba somus, laba ngasi ba ba ne manja kuzav. Okay, ngala Nkona, ngala Nkona. Hey, okay. Ngalan Kona. Ngalan Kona. Give my first part for Yaba. Ngalan Kona. Ngalan Kona. Ha 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 ha. Nongan Kona. Well done, uh, Madam. Thank you so much for such a moving speech. Sufuna go 70 lunch manje. But just before we do that, um, who support our township uh, businesses. How do you do that? Okay, um, thanks, Oni. I'm a township business. I've got a mentorship, which I call Township Economic Transformation in Franchise um, Ecosystem. So I help small businesses in the township to start formal business. So, Maskala, I will help you with compliance. You need to have your business registered. You need to have a bank account of a business. So that no matter if you have rand, it must via the bank. You can take it away and get it away, keep at the same time, no problem. But we need to show transactions in your business. And we also help you to access the market. So I deal a lot with corporates where I go out and look for business from the small business in the township. For instance, in the township, we got urban to buy, buy, buy and eat garden, like to grow vegetables. So we need those businesses. Like I've got stores where I go out and I get those small um, township farmers to sell to corporates. We've got cleaning detergent manufactured in the townships. Okay. So they need to get clients from the corporates, not only okay. from the communities. Okay. And we also help you with funding, to access funding. We guide you with the tools and skills to access the fundings. Why is it important for a business person to bank? For a business person to bank is how you're going to see that your business is growing. All of us, Skala e business, Sfuna e Kule. So if our bank, Unane Male Sandlin, you'll never know how much your business make. But now if I a bank, a statement this month, you bank 30,000. It's a turnover, not that it's a profit. 
then it will also help you show your expenses because now who use your online banking or use a business card it can help you uh, monitor the transaction and mouthful if funding it helps you a lot when already you've started those small things hence uba but the uh, previous speaker said sometimes you don't need money to start a business but the little that you have show it good you can handle 100 rand kona manje ufuna e bank you ufuna 10000 but already e 100 rand you cannot even put it to the bank because remember the banks want somebody who is responsible to handle the money okay se kuna lenye into futhi ukuthi umuntu utqala le business ekhaya ngiyayiqala le business but inqasha abantu basekhaya my family and close friends is it dangerous is it a, a good idea and please motivate your answer. You are in class now. Good color in business, we always say as entrepreneurs, we are starting a business to create jobs. So creating a job, hire anybody and everybody who's, who can help in the business. If Umawako can help in your business, but make sure that for each and every person that you hire, you've got a contract, you've got a job description, so that both of you can know who to what is expected. So your business, that's why I always tell people to say, always have paperwork um, as a CEO of the business. That's your role, to ensure that compliance in your business is happening. Good. So, mundu, but mupe into in black and white. So that now when you know who to, what you expect, it saves both of you and it's benefiting to your business, actually. So, nefemeli, nkana siba kashe bandu. Abe lungu baya kashana. A corporate baya kashana. You'll find 10 naidus. Don't be shocked. It's not similar saying. So now as black people, let's trust each other. Let's give our families and friends business. I mean, uh, jobs. But make sure good now where you do it the right way. Labor, is, labor law is very important. Hence, I, I will always refer to saying, I'm a CEO, I'm not really an entrepreneur because sometimes when we call ourselves entrepreneurs, we think we are only creative. Entrepreneur, you are a CEO, so which means you handle, you oversee everything, even legal and labor law in, in your company. There's Department of Labor. You can view their policy on the website, visit their office, go and say, Mina, we will see Banbani from Cakes P2I. So, as an employer, all the basic employment and everything that you need to know so that you know how to treat a person, how to discipline a person. Because remember, it's not about firing umundu from day one. You also need to correct that person before you fire them. So, those are part of the trainings that you as, an as a CEO, you also need to implement in your business, no matter how big or small. We all need to do the right things by law. Good. Just before the uh, last question, Nkela, Ms. Wissan Kumalo, please come closer to the stage for announcements. Good see. So, seven and Jan, Masugala. But just before the last question, um, you must be, you must take time to hire a person, but you must be very quick to fire. Take time to understand what type of a person this is, but to fire them if they show you signs like a wrong, how much is cut? Not really. I mean, I always say, let's be fair to each other. No matter what you do wrong, okay. now we're as an employer, if you can track back, you'll find good now where somehow you are at fault, number one. We don't train our team members that we hire. Okay. We don't give them the rules. We do have seven to six months. We have contract. We have training. We have This is wrong. You understand? Mm. You need to educate them. That's why I always tell people, whatever that you learned, teach another person you know they always say invest in your in, in, in your team members that's how your business can grow because once they know the importance of kutibanga jonchi because umuntu maga jonja month end akuna salary and it's a best tell you sona sonke umtela kuti akuna rente akuna in in yebo but if there's no money in the business 
all of us were going to serve. But they think Uti, only the director will serve. Not knowing Uti, all of us. So have staff meetings, have trainings now. That's why but you must be transparent in your business with your team members. Not Uti, hey guys, it, it, our target today is 20,000. They're going to steal the 20,000. But is the more that they get the education. Also, edu educate them about expenses. Okay. Hence, now we as an entrepreneur, you need to know your numbers. What, what is high, it's been billing high? If your electricity now is going up high because I want to buy, buy misuse electricity or a printing machine every now and then buy a printer, cartridge is expensive, paper is expensive. So you need to discuss the good and the bad of the business so that they can know and run the business better. And lastly, the, the, the importance of strategic alliances or partner, partnerships. In business, we, we don't know everything. You are an entrepreneur, you are there alone. It's very important to have associate, it's very important to have partners so that even if you need help, you can just pick up a phone and say, no man, I know Uroni, he's big in media, then I need this advice. You understand? You, you do a better trading with each other. Same applies at work. At work, you'll be taken for courses. So use your associate, use your networks. That's where you empower each other. And in our way, don't be selfish with information. Share. How did you start? My sister, but How did you start? I went to NEF. I submitted this form, this form. How did you start? You understand that? So now, uh, whatever that you have learned, teach others. Let's not be selfish with information. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's my Tabile Moreki for you. Thank you so, so much, madam. Truly appreciate you. A valuable time. Thank you very much. Oh, Nas, let's turn the seat. Nas, let's turn the seat. Let's turn the seat. Let's turn the message, Mangela. If you have a in oh, fact, in the toilet before, Pass my killer so and the Impumalanga business semi in every state. Pelan Kumakinis, Magnum Lofuna Funza, and Abel. Yeah, it's here. It's here. We can get anyone at Funzala. Pass my killer Impumalanga business semi in a gopi? Every state. Felankasha Mapas, Nong in Sate Nong, and Universal Malanga Siagopi. So when the Impumalanga business semi in every state. But the issue of strategic partnership is very important to any business. And uh, how you project yourself is very important in this life as a business owner, as a person. I want to also, and, and there are various experiences about one thing. One person can say, you have to say, you have right cool. You have to say, you have to say, you have but there are certain instances when I do something so it happens everywhere and every time but it is personally before I st I'm still going to appreciate the sponsors before we close after lunch but uh, just to say, Milvi Force, thank you so much for your sponsorship. You are working with us. Uh, it's been a long journey. And uh, we can see the future, Gutsina Kona. You will be beside us, Tobe Unats. Thank you very much, ma'am. Inomanini Saibonga for coming on board. Labandu Matotabane Maotela, La Panchele Batsune, Tinza Outlet Executive. Toglala Jolalu Pumulu Kosha and Gutsuendagali. So, they are here with us, we also appreciate them. The water that we are drinking, I want to appreciate Sululumanzi. Uh, they couldn't make it uh, to this event today, but we were with them last year, we are with them today. We truly appreciate and value their sponsorship. Securfin, they presented here, we want to truly appreciate you. Your contribution means a lot. FNP, haha, <laughs> my dot. We are going to tell Iron Mass Media. Being a pink in the FNP, I have to get pink lamb. My former pink. Sorry, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that.
But in Ayaga FNP, not no, 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 man, it's not so. But it's in SFNP, we have an entrepreneurial spirit like no other. Not a gobble. But yes, a bank for seven years in a row. Never to let the best business bank. Seven years in a row. 2013 till March. They are here with us. Ukulmine Musmoreki Guti. Bank. They have a number of services and programs for business people. Uh, they will come to the stage just after lunch to share. Because what is it that they can do for your idea and for your business? After lunch, Miss Wisani Kumalo, please come to the stage. After lunch, okay, we're going to break for lunch for 40 minutes. Pac-Man. Fast. But then it's, we, let's, have 40, let's have 45 minutes, Max. And uh, if you hear us, maybe after 30 minutes or 40, show us that they are back. And then we request you, if you are still outside, to also join. We want to run the next session very briefly, but it's more practical now. The next section, session is more practical, and I think most of you came here for those things. Next session is for you. Uh, Miss Wissan Kumalo? And I think she is going to be here. And she is going Madam, please talk to us. Okay. It's seven days. Okay. Seven days. Okay. I'm going to announce my announcement. So, I'm going to talk to you. My speaker's age. Lumyang on my left. There's that lady there, Lumus and Yambonamus, the Grandlands Leena, Ton Combogut in Yangawoki. Then Glans and Mavi APs, age. Rifuton Comp. Then my generals uh, at the bank, Gune Aero Luya Ea Exeter, the Grand Necon and Yotella Ishalta. Lang store. And everything come. See a bomb.